the whole chaotic neutral begins! Yay! Yay! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our brand new tabletop role playing channel, Chaotic Neutral. We're kicking things off with a live stream of Fiasco. I'm going to level with you. It's because we need to get the watch time up because otherwise we can't apply for monetization. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we're doing it, but thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Joining me for this game of Fiasco, I've assembled a team of Caper Crusaders. On that team is Sullivan. Hello. Dan. Hello, hi. Rosie. Hello. And Tegan. Hi. Who is new to Chaotic Neutral? Everyone's new to Chaotic Neutral, but also new to the Royal Bar fans. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute, have we not done this before? We're Chaotic oh Neutral. Yeah, there we well. go, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. very nice. Um, so, we are playing Fiasco, which is a role playing game uh, about crime capers and powerful ambition and poor impulse control, made by Bully Pulpit Games. We're going to be playing the Dragon Slayers expansion of the game, which means we're probably fantasy heroes adventuring in a world of dungeons and dragons, Ooh. but legally Ooh. distinct from both. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, before we get started though, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to the channel already. We haven't even put out a video, we've already got over 20,000 of your little buggers. Uh, that's incredible. Um, and thank you so much to everyone who has suggested names for both uh, our new mascot, we've had some brilliant ones. Uh, we've had Ivan, Sully Blobs, which Sully I really, Blobs. really Very enjoy. Good. We've had Snake Eyes, which I really like mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but I quite like Newt, mm. Newt, because it's the eyes of Newt. Would you it spell it the channel? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. But let me know what you Noit. think in the comments of that down below. Noit. Noit. <laughs> Noit. 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 Uh, and thank you for everyone who has also tried to pitch a sign off for the show as well. We'll. We'll try some out as we go, and hopefully we land on something as good as get on board. But well, like a goodbye. Really? Yeah, like a goodbye to the show. We'll, mm. we'll all do a different one at yeah. the okay. end of this. At the end of this, right. we'll all yeah. do a different one. Good. Okay. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about Fiasco before we kick into things. So in Fiasco, um, the game is played kind of like a Coen Brothers movie. It's a simulator for that. The idea will be that every player will get a scene uh, during a round and then another scene, so everyone gets two scenes per round. There are two rounds of the game. Um, in that, you get to choose what you want your character to do, whether that is uh, try to talk to another character about finding a certain object you might want, uh, trying to talk to someone about part of your relationship, something like that. And everyone gets a little bit of a moment in the spotlight to build some character and further the story that we're all going to be telling. Uh, but we find out who our characters are in this phase of the game. This phase is the character creation phase. In this, we've got all of these cards. As you can see, they've got things written on them like relationship, or object, or location, or need. We are going to deal these out to each other. You put them between two players to establish a relationship between the two, or a need that they both have, or an object that is relevant to their relationship, or a location that is relevant to their relationship. Now, bear in mind, we're all fantasy adventurers here. So that is what these cards are relating to. Sullivan, do you want to kick us off by yeah. putting a relationship? We'll do relationships first. OK. Hello. Okay, Dan and Rosie, please check that they have the mics are not on mute. Dan and Rosie, please check your microphones. It's not. I just haven't said anything. Uh, or else? It's up. You look fine. That looks fine. Technical I'm difficulties. Is that OK? Yeah. Yeah. Low. Do you want to move the mic up slightly, maybe? This is a prepared bit. This is it, yeah. It's one of the top bits. We're role playing. This is yeah. one of the best bits hey, we've no, ever done. We're playing as a professional channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Go on. How's that? Better? Everyone can hear me? If you can hear me, say aww. Aww. We can hear Rosie. Let me move these out of the way. While we I also I didn't wear a DV because I was like, oh, I'll, I'll mic myself up better. I think I've made it worse. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Much harder. Sorry. The deep I'll be v. naked next time. Good. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> um, Just attach it to my chest here. Uh, yeah, still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Nothing still at all. Nothing at all. Yeah, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Sorry. Wow. Um, it's going well so far. It's Welcome well. to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> While this happens, let me tell you about the Patreon offering that we're yeah, going to have no, for... No, no, no. Oh, no, we fixed it. Don't worry, I won't tell you about the Patreon offering. Nice. Oh, uh, no, no one cares about Patreon. Very upset. <laughs> what, <if I'm> <laughs> <laughs> what if we're too loud now? You're oh, fine. No. Sorry about that, guys. It's my bad. 
Okay, well, do you well, want to do the Patreon offering? I'll do the Patreon yeah, offering yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, uh, the other thing that's going to be happening in Chaotic Neutral is we're launching our very first ongoing series, which is going to be a fully edited, five episode long D&D campaign, which is launching ah. on the 22nd of December. Now, Obviously, getting lots of people around the table and doing lots of editing, and we've got character art, and we've got maps, we've got all sorts of stuff. We've all the bells and whistles for this series. It costs a lot of money, so we would really appreciate <laughs> it if anyone who felt the need and could would sign up to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash No Rolls Bard. Uh, Chaotic Neutral and No Rolls Bard are going to be sharing a Patreon, and at the $10 level, there will be an exclusive D&D episode that goes live on the December 22nd, as well as the very first episode of the campaign. It'll be a prologue. It will be uh, advancing kind of like how our characters met for the first time, telling a little bit more about the world, just some backstory stuff. It will not be like essential viewing to the overall campaign. You can still enjoy the campaign without being a patron, for those of you worried about that. But if you like what we're doing and you want to see more, patreon.com forward slash no rolls barred, $10 tier. There will be D and D content there for you, and we might even have some other bonus stuff down the line. You get as everything well. Neural's Bard and Chaotic Neutral as well. You do, and there are what a deal! There are what 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 is so much stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, come on, go. <laughs> This, say what did you say? You say waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? It's just a normal phrase. <laughs> a waka waka. A waka waka. Oh, yeah, yeah, waka waka. waka yeah, they, they say, oh, wow. you, you clearly never been to Toronto. Sorry, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Or Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, where Tegan's from. There's more, there's more cities. It's all the same. More than one city oh, in Canada. They all think no. we're from London. That's true. You don't think the place well, I'm from is real? Yes, London, Ontario. The place that you're from is Cinnamon Brow. It's real. It's, it's not, not it's real. It's a fantasy it's bakery <laughs> village. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm from. Dan oh, thinks he's a gingerbread <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> These are my people. Past the jump, the swirly, drilly forest. Wants to have his family on his, yeah. on his jump for yeah. the day. Yeah. The people this, of Cinnamon Brow. This is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uncle, Jeremy. <laughs> That's the mayor. We're on the mayor of Cinnamon Brown. The muffin man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's my father. <laughs> Do I grow up in a fairy tale land? Um, well, you know, it is a fantastic deal. A wacko wacko. A wacko wacko. But on with the game. On, on with, with the, the game. fiasco. <laughs> so I'm going to give this to Rosie and Dan. Thank you. Uh, one of you is the uh, a master, and the other is a defeated foe turned into a servant. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. So this is a relationship uh, between Rosie and Dan. Their characters will have this binding them together. So one of them is the master, and one of them is the defeated foe turned into a servant. Hmm. It'll be up to you guys to decide which is which. Interesting. <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Tegan, Thanks. do you want to establish a relationship? I do. Um, I am going to give... Rosie and Lori, you each have a scar the other oh. gave you. Oh, oh. That's very good. wow. Now, emotional or real? Yeah. Oh, see. Yeah. Could be anything. Could be anything. A waka waka. A waka waka. It might be copyrighted. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Like five years I'm going to discover this channel. Five years. <laughs> And we found the perfect sound of waka waka. Waka waka. Join us next week. A waka waka. I'm so sorry. (laughs) (laughs) For fuck's sake. (laughs) It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, what have I got? (laughs) Right, I have. uh, I am going to (laughs) establish a relationship between myself (laughs) and Tegan. Oh no. We are going to be siblings. Oh, I like that. That's brilliant. That's very dumb. Rosie. Okay. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to establish. It's the last one, isn't it? Or is it you? Uh, So you've got. So you can either establish between Dan and Sullivan or Sullivan and Tegan. (sighs) Oh, it's hard, isn't it? There's lots of good good stuff going on here. Right, I'm going to do this one. Dan and Sullivan, mm-hmm. um, Sorcerer and Apprentice. Oh, <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> I'm a mighty wizard. <laughs> Fantastic, brilliant. Yeah, what if Dan's great. the mighty wizard, but he's also now in servitude yeah. to Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> and you're the <laughs> apprentice <laughs> and Kate, like you're part of the package deal. 
<laughs> I'm having a time. And Dan, perfect. you can only establish between t uh, Sullivan and Tegan. That's fine. I'm going to establish that relationship between them is that of a family bound by a blood ritual. Ooh. Ooh. That's dark. That's cool. Yikes. Wow, so then yeah. technically, we're all family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got yeah. all my sisters yeah. with me. Perfect. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, thank that you. That's nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we basically mod these relationships. We're going to add either a location, a need, or an object. By the end of this round of playing cards, we need to have uh, one location played, and two objects and two needs. So, Sullivan, do you want to kick us off? Yes. Uh, me and Tegan, uh, our need is to rule an army of the undead. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be fun. Just like in real life. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. A waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> so we command them. That's good stuff. <laughs> I rise, I rise up. Now I walk, I walk. I walk, I walk over there and kill. How are we spelling it? Just so that I can check. I think A U A K A K. Oh, it's, all, it's one word. Oh, yeah. it, it, oh, so it's like a yard rather than a yeah. a wa. Yeah. So it's a yaka yaka. Yeah, but it's sort of like a wa. Like that. Oh, laga, oh, laga. <laughs> <laughs> they have to say it like that too, Laurie. Oh, laga, laga. And we of course, it. there's a silent M. Of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. But it moves every between time. Between the K's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What am I looking for? Object, location. So you can, do, you can do an object, location, or a need at this moment. In time. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm going to. I need. Okay, I'm going to put you two on the outskirts, the magic gate uh, oh, to the dungeon. Oh, okay. Lovely. Nice. Okay, so that's our one location for the game. So now we, oh, need we to don't do need any more locations. Yeah, so we're just doing okay, needs okay, and objects. Okay, 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 uh, yeah. And I might do an object. I'm going to give uh, Dan and Sullivan this object the Staff of Resurrection. With one charge left. <laughs> 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 oh. So it's just, do we just need needs now? Yeah, need or object is need what you, can, you okay. can place. Is it me? Yes. Um, Ideally, a need would go we've here. We've got siblings. Go <coughs> we've got, uh, what's this? You can each have a scar. Um, okay, I'm going to give. Uh, you siblings, a spell, enchanting charm of enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Good. That's very good. That's really good. So this one is, we need a need. So now we need, we a, need, need. a need. Okay, which of the two do I pick? Because they're both quite entertaining. I think this one, because of the wording of it, is my favorite. This need is to be a hero to that one special person. Oh. <laughs> Gives it a Christmas vibe. That's you nice. Know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a, like a Christmas movie. Two scarred veterans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bound by yes. something. It's so festive. So that is our character relationships and the objects, needs, locations that bind those relationships set. What we're going to do now is we're going to discuss who our characters are, what mm -hmm. defines those relationships, and we're going to build the world out Slowly, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the little bit of blurb on the back of this box so you know what kind of uh, world we're building. So in Dragon's Layers it says, So yeah, we rode into this miserable little town, a bunch of outsiders ready to solve their problem. Solve a motherfucking dragon. Well we solved it, and here we are, ready to kick back and split up the loot and regale these bumpkins with tales of mummy rot and devilish traps and the dragon we whacked. Of course, it's never that simple. Adventurers like us all have egos and we have a past. Mm. So, that says that this game is likely taking place after we've already been to the dungeon, the horde of this great and terrible dragon. And we've already slain the dragon. Now we're just in town, kicking back, relaxing, maybe having a drink in a tavern and telling stories of what we did nice. in the dungeon. So does anyone have a particularly strong idea of who their character is? Can I, mm -hmm. oh, yes. I take these cards back while we do that? <laughs> Can I last minute change a card? Just because it says it's happened. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Did you change this one? Yeah. Go on then. Because my other one, the other need thing that I have says to overindulge in tavern brawls. And I feel like I quite <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. good. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. 
Right, should we just qu we'll go quickly go around and read out all the relationships and needs um, mm -hmm. so we know. So Sullivan and Tegan are family bound by a blood ritual and they need to rule an army of the undead. Tegan and myself are family, we're siblings, and we have an object, uh, the enchanting charm of enchantment. Nice. Rosie and I are bound by war. You each have a <laughs> scar the other gave you. Uh, and the need is to overindulge in tavern brawls. Together? Together, I think wow. so. Maybe okay. this is where we got the scars. Maybe <laughs> that's a war. Yeah. Maybe you're yeah. constantly fighting each other. In taverns. In yeah. taverns. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Dan and Rosie, uh, their, need, their relationship is adventurers. Uh, the master and defeated foe turned into a servant and their location is on the outskirts, the magic gate to the entrance to the dungeon. And Dan and Sullivan's relationship is magic. They are a sorcerer and apprentice and their weapon is a Staff of Resurrection <laughs> with one charge left. <laughs> now this might change things about mine and Tegan's relationship slightly here, but I want to be an enchanted horse. <laughs> <laughs> where did you come up with this concept? <laughs> where did I come up? I, I think Shrek 2 is okay, where I came yeah. up with the concept. Mm. Nice. Um, but I will be, yeah, so we could be adopted family. Yeah. You I were raised by horses. Yeah, yeah. Like, some, people, some people are like pet parents. Yeah. 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 Well, hold on. So the family is horses. Yeah. So I think I, a human person. <laughs> I think yeah. Tegan te te <laughs> would be human. Yeah. Oh, yeah. not that the, the not that the I see. The horse is not. The horses have adopted the human. Yes, I'm an I think so. I'm an enchanted talking Love horse. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The horse has adopted a human. That could be you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is our yeah. pet human. Yeah. Well, I because I had an idea for a character. It still works. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be a teenage orc. I'd like to be an orc <laughs> in the throes of puberty. <laughs> that still works, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I've been adopted yeah. into an enchanted horse. Into a family horse. horse. Yeah. Uh, yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> Don't look at me. My name is Gork. Gork. Gork the orc. Gork. Gork. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Are you a he him? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a teenage boy orc. Nice. And what's your name, Enchanted Horse? Clarence. Clarence. <laughs> Clarence. 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 I'm Clarence the Enchanted Horse, and I'm here. Lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I would like to be. Uh, well, yeah, I think I think this will go into this. Um, I want to be called Crumplestiltskin, <laughs> and I, I would like to be your apprentice. I think that makes sense. I'm your apprentice, and I'm part of the package deal. Uh, and I really say that I, I have magical powers. Okay. Definitely, definitely, De absolutely. definitely got magical powers. But I'm a mighty powers. wizard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely got magical powers. Absolutely. So you don't you've need got, to worry about you've it. You've got a book of spells, and it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a shopping list. Yeah. Yeah. Avocado. There's got to be one in here. <laughs> Oh, milk! <laughs> but how do you two know each other? Um, well, we, I think I must, uh, yeah, we must, yeah, we've got us. Yeah, we're so so bound by a blood ritual. Yeah. Mm. Are, you, are you an orc as well? Is that your species? Do I you could see, be an orc. Do you I see Crumple Stiltskin as something else? Well, yeah. maybe you, you were like school friends. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. We're school friends who and we did we, a. We did the where you cut your yeah. hand. You're yeah. like, I lo like, we love each other so much. Like, yeah. we'll, be, we'll be best friends. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. maybe you think that's how you got magic powers. Yeah, and I actually, yeah. But I'm just a. I'm, just a, just a I, yeah. I'm now thinking I'm maybe a, a boy. <laughs> just <laughs> rather, a than a, rather than like an old man. I was going to be an old man. But now I think maybe I'm like a, like a, like a like 15 year old boy. <laughs> yeah. So we're just two teenage <laughs> boys. Yeah. You're both, yeah, you're both going through puberty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and, and that's where I think I've got my magical powers. Yeah, yeah the blood ritual true. was like you trying to do magic, but yeah. like for the first time. <laughs> it was actually yeah. just like you mixing your. Yeah, I feel yeah. different. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have I, uh, which one? Which well, one? Um, I need to think of a person who would be fight, fighting with a horse on the regular. <laughs> I guess it's only going to be a Geordie, presumably. A Geordie. There was a Newcastle fan who famously punched a police horse in the face. <laughs> oh, right. okay. Okay. Football, guys, football. British football, English football. Well, they came to the RPG <laughs> Channel 4. Yeah, yeah. Nice. absolutely. Um, I. Who would punch a horse? I think like a big, strong John Prescott. woman. <laughs> <laughs> John Prescott. John yeah. Prescott. Yeah. <laughs> um, do I like? Do you think? Uh, do you think it's over something really petty though? Like, have we gone to war over the fact that I keep eating the bushes outside your house? Mm. Oh yeah, like, maybe I'm a nosy <laughs> neighbour. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. The, you have a really pristine law, and I just keep eating. Keep eating the the grass. Yeah. Okay. 
but I'm willing to go to war over that. So maybe I'm like a sort of a villager. I'm a gnome. I'm a gnome. <laughs> I'm, nice. a gnome. Nice. I'm a gnome called, um, called, let's quickly read this again. You each have a scar. The other gave you moonshine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did that give you that? <laughs> moonshine. Moonshine. Moonshine the gnome. Moonshine the gnome. Oh, Very I good. Like Very that. good. Okay. Gork the Orc, which um, counts horse. I would like to play uh, a older woman who is a keeper of, like, like a librarian of magic books, mm -hmm. who's gone out to get some real world experience, mm -hmm. so that when people are like, "I need a book for this purpose," she knows. She's like, "I've got, yeah. I've got this to draw on." Um, she wears a hair in like a messy bun, like grey hair, dungarees. I think is the energy. Mm. And her name is Brenda. 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 Brenda the Brenda. So which of you is the which of you is the master? Which of you is the servant? Well, that uh, is interesting because that then begins the chain. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think. Well, perhaps we're like in the same village, and we're because it's the the wording of it is a defeated foe. How many hedgerow fights are you getting? Are we neighbours? Are we neighbours? But we are neighbours. We're neighbours. all neighbours and you hate... We're neighbours, yeah. Maybe you've not maybe maybe you've not defined it. Maybe one of maybe you both think you're the master and the other's the servant. Mm. Mastered and defeated foe turned into a servant. Maybe it changes with well, every uh, with every neighbourly battle. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, it, it, maybe it's it's that we've been disagreeing on like the presentation of the square that we're neighbours on, and whichever one won that. Is the, is and the is this square, and is this square the magical gateway to the entrance to the dungeon? Oh, it could be. What about? Um, are we a, are we a village mm. of people who are who work for the dragon? Mm. Mm. I was going to suggest that we both entered the village show, <laughs> and who, whoever won with their prize marrow <laughs> was the master. <laughs> and Do you want to rock paper scissors? Who won the defeat? The biggest who, marrow? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's one two three go. One two three go. One two three go. Oh. One two three go. go. Oh, oh Dan hurts. had the biggest Brenda marrow. The marrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm just real, real yep. curmudgeonly. Yeah, yeah. Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine. <laughs> it's got a sparkly soul. I used magic to grow the marrow. Mm. <gasps> the scandal. Oh, that's good. That's good. You, yeah, you cheated. Yeah. You cheated. <gasps> no. Yes. Yes. Natural yes. magic. Well, wow. I think yeah. I think it, I think it's up in the air. I think it's up. In yeah, the I air. think that's so Brenda does not think Brenda cheated. So let's just recap. So mm -hmm. Sullivan, you are. I'm a, a boy called Crumplestiltskin, <laughs> who was a mighty wizard, <laughs> uh, <laughs> who entered into a blood ritual with with his good friend Gork the Orc, and uh, and also is the apprentice to Brenda. That's me. I am Gork the Orc. I am a an orc in the throes of puberty. Uh, this is my best friend, Crumple Stiltskin. We've we've blood ritual bonded, and uh, this my sibling, Clarence, was adopted into a family of magical horses. Are you my older sibling? I guess so. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Clarence, the magical horse, and uh, yes, we you were adopted into my family of horses, and I am at war. <laughs> with moonshine <laughs> <laughs> over the hedgerows that I keep eating. Uh, I'm Moonshine the Gnome, and um, I've got a beautiful garden, which is, keeps getting destroyed by Clarence the Magical Horse, and um, just over the fence is Brenda the... Uh, the librarian. Librarian. I was going to call you witch, but you're not a witch. You're just well, a librarian. Uh, librarian. Yeah, witchy. Witchy librarian. Mm. librarian. Magical librarian. Yeah. Okay. And um, I am the defeated foe at the recent village fate where my marrow wasn't big enough. And it's not a problem. <laughs> 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 and I'm Brenda, the magical librarian, who is keeper of all of the magic books, who uh, has learned from books but would like to go out and get some real world experience and recently won the village show with her prize. Absolutely not magically altered, Mara. Wonderful. So I think the next thing we need to do is establish why we went on this mission to slay this dragon. Because there's some things, like there's some objects that we haven't touched on here as well. It's like we have this enchanting charm of enchantment that binds us. I imagine I might be wearing that. Mm. That might be why I'm a talking horse. Mm. We'll find out later. Mm. <laughs> you guys obviously have the, the Staff of Resurrection. Mm -hmm. Um, so we could work out, we could begin to work out the kind of chain of why we went into the dungeon here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to have any thoughts. Mm -hmm. why, do you think, why do you think your character would go to try and slay a dragon? Um, well, if the dragon was being 
uh, a threat to the village. Mm -hmm. I think Brenda feels very passionately. She's very, she's very busy. Mm -hmm. She's in the council. She's doing all of the, you know, she's very much trying to bring the community together. And mm -hmm. I think she'd probably be like, well, I'll be part of the party that can yeah. take that down. How One. important is this country show to the village? Very important. Yeah. I yeah. Very important. The dragon was going to the dragon was going to interrupt set fire the country to the show. Country mm. show yeah. maybe? So and then, so then, obviously, if you go along because it's important to you and you're mm. on the council, obviously you would I'm take your servant and you would probably take your apprentice. Mm. Yeah. And your apprentice might drag along yeah, best their, yeah. their best friend, blood brother. Yeah. 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 And they, they all travel there on a magical horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm transport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm transport. On my own channel. I'm, <laughs> I'm a really big horse. Mm. Clarence oh, yeah. mm -hmm. No, they're no. not all gold. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out, Terry. Cut out. <laughs> oh, no way. OK, so that feels like we've established uh, who we are, what we're doing. Hopefully you guys have a good knowledge of that. We will recap as we go. Uh, I'll quickly explain how the game is played. Then we're going to take a, a five minute break and then we're going to come back and we're going to start the first round. In the first round, everyone is going to get two scenes. Um, the way Fiasco works is in a scene, you get a choice of whether you want to establish or resolve. Every scene that comes around to you, it is your chance for your character to be in the spotlight and pursue the things that are essential, you think, to your story. So that might be us going after this enchanting charm of enchantment or putting it back or whatever we feel we're going to be doing with this thing. Uh, it might be you two having a war of words over the marrow contest, something like that. You can choose to establish or resolve. If you choose to establish, you get to set the scene. Who's going to be in the scene with you? What are you going to be trying to achieve? Uh, but the other players will get to resolve that scene for you, which is they get to give you one of these cards, which are positive and negative outcomes, and they guide your scene towards a conclusion where either you likely get what you want or you don't. Flip reverse that, if you choose to resolve your scene, the other players will tell you who you're in a scene with, give you kind of a cue up of like, we think your character should do this kind of thing, probably be talking to these kinds of people, and then you get to choose the positive or negative outcome. By the end of the round, everyone should have two of these cards. We're going to total them up. On the other side of them are things for the tilt, which is the midpoint of the game. During the tilt, new elements will be added to the story. They might be tragic, they might be heroic, they might be uh, a certain action is taken by one of the characters. It might be that one of the characters has to die. But we only find that out after we've played two scenes each. We will be back in five minutes time to start playing this game of Fiasco Dragon Slayers. Oh, waka waka! Waka waka! Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back. It is time to dive into this fiasco. But first of all, I just want to say a very quick thank you to Lee from Goose Creative for making the mascot and the logo for the channel. You did a fantastic job. Sorry we keep calling it illegally distinct eye blob mascot. You did, a, you did amazing work. It deserves <laughs> more. It deserves more, Lee. Um, and also thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far. We, I'm blown away by the amount of support this channel's already had before we've even done anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's incredible. And remember, if you do want to see exclusive RPG content, an exclusive D&D &D episode on December 22nd, to sign up for the Patreon at the $10 tier where all of the care to neutral stuff will be going. That's patreon.com forward slash no rolls barred. But now it is time to kick into our little campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, Sullivan, I think we'll start with you and we'll work our way around the table this way. Would you like to establish or resolve a scene? I think I'll resolve so then we can all discuss how yep. to establish it and mm -hmm. that's a good place for it. So we all have a shared yep. thing on it. So, so yeah. I think we could either jump really far back into you two's past, mm -hmm. the moment that you became Blood Brothers and maybe the moment that you decided that you needed to rule an army of the undead <laughs> because let's not forget that's a thing that they have to do. Mm -hmm. um, we could jump back to there and that could lead us into why this dragon's a problem, why this dragon's a particular thing. Or alternatively, I think we could have a scene here mm. between you two um, as you seem to have the biggest issue with the dragon ruining the county fair. Um, we should we should also clarify what a marrow is because uh, apparently the I chat has been the this. chat doesn't the chat doesn't know what a marrow is. Mm. It's a really big cucumber. Like a, like a, it's in the courgette family, zucchini family. Yeah. It's just a big vegetable, and you grow them, and it, and it and like I thought Americans and North Americans and all the rest had these, and like it it, it basically the the game at the county fair is you. <laughs> Game. <laughs> 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 Who can grow the biggest of this particular vegetable? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They're, it's they're in, delicious. It's in Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Bob's know what I mean? Oh, what's it grow it? Yeah. yeah. Tumbleweed. <laughs> going across the chat. We've all watched it. Yeah. Right? Is it? Oh yeah. Is one oh, I'm it sorry. It, it doesn't come in a spray no, can. Is it? Oh, it's big in America. Yeah. Want some grow it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's a big old zucchini. It's fun. <laughs> they don't taste nice, <laughs> but they're hollow. Yes, they do. You dry them out. You can knock them. They make a good noise. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? And that's the end of the game. <laughs> that's the end of the game. Gosh. So, uh, I think the I think my issue with this scene is that one that feels a bit more like a Dan scene. Yeah, that, feel, that feels agree. more like Brenda's scene. Um, so I think we could do something more. Mm. You setting up. You two setting up your past, but maybe we also start this with a, a smaller interlude before we go into a flashback. Mm where we s establish what's happening in the town, in the tavern, as we've all come back from this Dragon Slayer yeah. moment. So maybe you can lead maybe. the kind of, this is, this is uh, your time, Crumplestiltskin's chance to tell the story <laughs> of why we went after the dragon. Yeah. I feel like Laurie needs like a pashmina, like a drama <laughs> <Yeah>. teacher, <laughs> you know, like big glasses. I feel like yeah. the scene, it's your scene. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I'm sure we can rustle one up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'll have it for the second half. Good. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Um, does, some, does someone want to play the person I'm telling the story to? So I'm like grabbing them and going, you must hear my story. Or we can actually see the scene. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah, see this yeah. scene. So yeah, yeah. Tegan is going to be in the second half of mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. does Dan or Rosie want to step in and be the person in the tavern who's going to be told the tale? Go on, Dan. Yeah. All right. Go okay. on. Excuse me, barkeep. Would you mind if I had uh, a, a pint there of your strongest ale? Hey, uh, wanderer, Hello. traveller. Hello. Would you like to hear the great story of heroism and wizardry? Uh, now? Yes. Uh, can I have my pint first? No. Oh, uh, well, well, I suppose you best continue then. Yes, here we go. Off you go. It all started when I was but a boy, only six weeks ago. <laughs> 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 I was going to say you look quite young for a storyteller. Yes, I'm only small. I'm only <laughs> small, like all boys are. But I have had many fun stories and exciting adventures. All right, get started. So... Um, I've got, I'm on the clock here. It had started when I was a boy only six weeks ago. <laughs> and there I was with my friend Gork the Orc. <laughs> <laughs> Gawk! Yeah! <laughs> it is 
How are you? Oh, my brother's chapping my ass. <laughs> He's always doing that. I can't stand him. What's he doing this time? What's happened? He just keeps rubbing it in my face that I'm not an enchanted horse. I'm not an enchanted horse. Well, you can't help that. I can't. I'm doing my best. My voice hasn't dropped yet. My grades are falling. <laughs> I've got pimples all over my face. You're the only person I have who really cares, you know? Yeah, well, you're the only person who cares about me. Of course I care about you. We're best friends. That's what best friends do. <laughs> <laughs> they care about each other. They listen to each other's problems. <laughs> and they spit in each other's mouths. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Yummy and nutritious. Wow. Um, <laughs> Is this, is this all part of the story? Oh, yes, it's very yes, yes. important right, that we okay. spit in each other's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. I think we need to get revenge on our enemies. Oh, yeah! Yes, yes, all the bullies in school and, and your horrible brother. Clarence. Uh, Cl oh. Clarence, the horrible enchanted horse. <laughs> <laughs> what a nasty piece of work he's that guy a, is. He's a jerk. Yes. Well, I've been looking up in my magical books. You know I'm a mighty wizard. Yes, you are. Uh, soon to be. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I have a, I, I found a, 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 a spell, you see, <gasps> that can raise the, 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 the dead and we can command them together. Just like we've always talked about! Yes! yes we can finally do it! You found the spell! Yes, but the only problem is, is that this dragon, you hear about this dragon? Yeah. This dragon's been going around burning people to a crisp. It's not polite. You don't want crispy, no, it's not! No, it's, it's and too you don't crispy, want, You don't want crispy soldiers? No, you don't. No. no. It's the first rule of soldiering, don't be crispy. Be soft, doughy. You gotta be soft and doughy, that's how they, that's how they all made. <laughs> Easily stabbable. We don't it's want to be hard. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so I suggest that we become blood brothers. <gasps> that we do this together. Right. Do you want to do it first? Yeah, spit's not enough. Let's do blood this time. We can mix the spit in. Oh, <laughs> we'll double, the power. double the power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> now we will command a great army and we will have the empire of the dead and we will destroy this town and our enemies for we are mighty sorcerers <laughs> There we go. Wow. <laughs> that was I don't think I want my ale <laughs> That is my you story. <laughs> I'll spit in it if you like. I'm good. <laughs> I've, got, I've got an appointment. <laughs> so I gave uh, you guys a positive outcome. Oh, so that's yeah. a Sullivan. That stays in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I assume that was where it was going. Yeah, you yeah. you yeah. successfully became Blood Brothers. Yeah. 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 Nice. Right. Blood and Spit Brothers. Blood and Spit <laughs> Brothers. Oh, yeah. We're spitting each other's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> That's puberty. That's, That's oh, yeah. puberty. That's what you do. That's what you do. You got the amount of people's yeah. mouths yeah. I spit into. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Are you still going through puberty now? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every day. Every day. That's how I just greet everyone when I come in. <laughs> Morning. Hi, Laurie. <laughs> yeah. Spit in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a dog after a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this, this is really this taking a turn. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Subscribe <laughs> for more Patreon exclusive oh, waka content. Waka. Oh, waka waka. Do you want to see it with real spit? Subscribe <laughs> 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 to Patreon. $15 tier. <laughs> right, Tegan, it is your chance to right. establish or resolve a scene for Gork. Um, I would just do the opposite, and mm. I d I've never played this game before, so I don't really know what to do, but can I establish something? You mm -hmm. certainly can. Yeah. Yep, so that just means you get, to, you get to say what kind of scene you want to have and with whom. And with whom. Can I, can I establish, can I have a scene with you? Yes. Mm. My older brother. Mm -hmm. um, establishing kind of why, why we don't get along? Yep. The, the, the cause of our conflict? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, that means everyone else gets to resolve the scene. So at, at a certain point, you just get to plonk one of these cards mm. in front, whether you think the outcome is going to be positive or Based negative. Based on where the scene's going. From the scene, yeah. Interesting. Do you also want to start the scene with a little bit in the tavern? Maybe where you 
interject into Crumple Stiltskin's <laughs> conversation with our <laughs> beleaguered Brian, <laughs> uh, Brian the Brian. beleaguered bar yeah. uh, proper upper, and mm -hmm. start telling this part of the story. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so should we be chatting? Yeah. And I but think I might not, go sit on this side of the It's not the bar. end of the story. Oh, it's sir. not the end of the hey story. Hey, man, okay. can you buy me a beer? Oh, oh, that doesn't feel appropriate. Well, how old are you, sir? 37. Oh, if you're 37, I can get you one. I, so, excuse me, I thought you were so much younger. Barky, <laughs> I'll have another one of these ales. Not for me. For this, uh, what, what's your name, 37-year-old? Gork. The 37-year-old Gork the Orc. I've assumed you're an Orc. I apologize I, if that's wrong. No, you are right to. My dark, leathery skin, the scraggly hair on the top of my head. It's and the pustules. And the pustules as well. They're classic. Uh, yeah. Classic orc traits. Thank you for recognizing. You know, I You're live. Most I live in a family where I'm not often, you know, really seen. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Why don't you tell me all about that? Family? <laughs> 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 oh, steady down there, Gorg the Orc. Ah, it's my second ever beer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me dilla, 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 dilla. <laughs> hey, Clarence, can I borrow your brush? <laughs> Gork, you know it's not for you. It's a horse brush. Uh, and the last one I gave you, you lost in your room. Well, I can't help it. There's the pit of no return in there. You guys put it in there. <laughs> I yes. Well, the parents, it was a weird thing to put in the stable, yes, but that's where we had to store it. Okay, well, can I just borrow it? I've got a few more hairs have sprung up and I just want to <laughs> keep them well coiffed. <laughs> Poor Gork, Gork, if you lose this, there will be hell to pay. Just this once. Not another swirly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know. What's this one? It's, an, it's American bullying oh, technique. Yeah. It's yeah. where you don't come yeah. in a toilet and you flush yeah. them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We have yeah. no return and we have that flushing is, toilets. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Well, I mean, plumbing is important. Yeah, plumbing mm. is important. How does the horse do as well? Sorry, carry on with <laughs> the scene. Carry on with right. the scene, please. Thanks, Clarence. You know, I didn't, I know that you didn't pick, well, you guys literally picked me. It was just an egg. You thought something nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that when I hatched and you saw it was an orc and not another magical horse, that it wasn't exactly, you know, what mom and dad had in mind. Mm. But I'm coming of age soon. And, and that means I'll, I'll be leaving the house to establish my own colony, as orcs do. And I just... <laughs> and <laughs> horses. And, and horses. Mm. And I just... I, I wish we could resolve you know, our differences. What is it you hate about me? Oh, Gork, where does the list end, frankly? You, you're unkempt, you're untidy, you lose things. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and as an enchanted horse, I want people to appreciate <laughs> me for me. <laughs> And you <laughs> reflect badly on me. I already have enough trouble as it is as an enchanted horse because people just look at me and go, oh look, enchanted horse. They don't listen to what I'm saying. They don't listen to what I'm speaking. They keep looking this gift horse in the mouth. Um. <laughs> oh, sorry if I, I don't, don't feel bad because you're beautiful and you have a long mane and no pustules, a I shiny coat, polished hooves. I may be an enchanted horse, but I want people to see me as enchanting. Ah, oh, crushing. And I just wish you would stop publicly embarrassing me. Yeah, I get it. Just, just stupid old Gork the Orc. Embarrassing you again. Well, fine. Maybe I'll leave and establish a colony a little bit earlier. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> and loses see. everything. Loses <laughs> everything, even tears. Wow. Stop the pit. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> pit of no return. <laughs> okay, so that was a negative outcome for <laughs> for Gork and Clarence.
their relationship is in need of repair. It is now my turn to uh, establish or resolve a scene. I think I will resolve. Mm. Okay. Well, obviously, you'll start talking of Bri and talking with Brian. Yeah. Uh, in, the as we all oh, in the in the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, Who's desperately just wanted a quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot on us, Brian. <laughs> And this was his moment to sort of steady his nerves before beginning his day. <laughs> but um, not, not to be. No, no. Yeah. I, think, well, I think the scene with you and Rosie makes sense. Yes. Um, maybe uh, a flashback to your first ever bar brawl. Our first yeah. ever oh. bar brawl. Yeah. Okay. Where you first discussed the hedgerows issue. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's a scene where you burst in, maybe. I'm already okay. in the bar. But we will start over here. Well, that does sound bad, Gork. Uh, I, I hope it gets better for you soon. I'm just going to go and sit Lord. over on this side of the bar. <laughs> and Brian walks over to the other side of the bar. And a little he head takes swings a over. <laughs> over. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're a talking horse. Yes. Wait, don't, don't I recognise you? I'm the one from the jokes. The one from the joke? The why the long face joke. Oh! Horse walks into a bar. Uh, I'm very that horse. funny, very funny. Anyway, no, would you on, excuse me, I see a picture of you on this wall here. It says you're not allowed in because you indulge in too many bar bars. Well, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Let me tell you a tale. I'm putting use a hoof to put your hand out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a tale <laughs> of Daring Do. Oh, okay. Of an enchanted horse who you may find enchanting. <laughs> well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, maybe you will be. It all started. Long, long ago, in a bar very much like this one, a handsome, nay, enchanting <laughs> horse was oh, sat no. having a drink <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> I think he's got a straw. Mm. Oh, excuse me, is anyone sitting here? <laughs> Obviously, I am sitting here. Apart from you? No. Don't you mean nay? <laughs> <laughs> you would be surprised how often that comes up. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm just going to plonk myself down <laughs> here, if you <laughs> don't mind. I... I guess I don't mind, it's already happened. What's your name? My name's Clarence. Oh! And I'm a horse. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, I didn't really notice. You did Apart from the horse joke. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> He's so evil. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, God. Apart from the horse joke, can can I help you? I was just trying to have a quiet drink. Oh, I was just gonna see if anyone in here had any <laughs> idea who's got a taste for laurel bushes. Laurel <laughs> bushes. Yeah, they no. would happen to be the, the little. The little green ones, really rather delicious looking kind of thing, would they? How would you know that, Mr. Clarence Magical Horse? I would just say <laughs> the, the equine instinct or that sort of thing. I, I don't, no real reason, no real reason. How interesting, because <laughs> this is the tenth time I've come into this tavern and sat down at this table and asked that question, and you're the only <laughs> magical horse who has known what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am the only magical horse in town who drinks in this tavern. Well, isn't that a coincidence? I imagine it bloody well is. Are you insulting my honour? Oh, what's that in the corner of your mouth? Would you look at that? It's a little laurel twig. And what's this in my pocket, Mr. Magical Clarence Horse? It's the other end of the Magical Laurel Twig. Off of my munched bush. 
是。<笑>Rosie, it's your turn to resolve or establish a scene. Um, I will resolve. Yeah, a mm -hmm. scene. Yeah. Can I confess that I don't understand the difference? So, when you resolve a scene, you choose whether it's positive or negative. Uh huh. And when you establish a scene, you choose what the scene's going to be. Yeah. Okay, so that one was we did. Th that was an establish. Uh, so should we have put that down? Uh. Yes. yes. You always get one at the end. Uh, what, was, yeah. what was wrong is that I should have chosen whether this is yeah, positive or negative, we're but I was going to go so positive yeah. anyway. So. We're kind of, it's, it kind of ends up collaborative. We'll figure anyway, it out. So yeah. It all works. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. I guess if you're establishing, then you can choose what you want your scene to be. Okay. Whereas if you're resolving, you choose how it ends. Love that. Whereas mm. like, you, the other way around, the Love other that. people mm. help yeah. you with it. That makes sense. So, Rosie, um, so like I'll, I will, what did I say, resolve? You would like to resolve? Yeah, I'll resolve the scene. Okay. So we're probably looking, we've done a scene with me. Yeah. Um, so we could probably come over yeah. here and do a scene between you and your other great foe. <laughs> <laughs> Being a horse and a librarian, as Rosie's been doing. <laughs> we got time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so we could go back, we could flash back to the beginning of your rivalry. Um, yeah. That leads, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we flash back to the very beginning of the rivalry and we don't do the resolution where you lose the marrow competition mm. and end up in servitude. But this can be... Something towards the beginning like of you two. On the way towards the Mario competition. Yeah, so this could be how you kind like of We're judging each other's vegetable patches. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could do that. Or we could do we could do the Mario competition and we could oh. have you but that might be something for a little bit later. Um, well, I got get the impression that like this is a this is a um a rivalry that comes up annually. Yes. <laughs> so it could have been going on for a hundred years. Yeah, great. Um, yeah. So it might be we could we could do like the one before the one that's coming up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So like it's the most. So we've got all this history. Got it. Got maybe. It. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we can just be like the most. You know, what's the next marrow competition? Um, can you flesh out for me, Moonshine? Is Moonshine what? What does Moonshine look like? Um, two feet tall. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, two thirds of that is hat. <laughs> um, Just little legs with eyes. Yeah. Finding a uh, horse! Riding. Finding a horse! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think very, I, th I imagine um, Clarence to be like an enormous like stallion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, Moonshine, just this little stocky, <laughs> little stocky gnome. Great. Quite, yeah, quite a big pointy Lovely, hat. okay, perfect. Yeah. Great. Moonshine. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so, so we what? start as all scenes in this start yep. with, <laughs> with a conversation Brian with Brian. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, goodness me, Clarence, that does sound like an absolute fight. <laughs> Did someone <laughs> say Clarence? <laughs> oh, this one oh, again. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, Brian. How are you how do, doing uh, today? How did you know my name? Oh, we met 50 years oh, ago. Oh, my apologies. Remember I told you that amazing story <laughs> about how me and What's the name? Brenda. Brenda. Me and Brenda started having our competitions. It's funny. It's, it sounds to me like a story that I tuned out of in the middle. So why don't you tell me again? Oh, I'll be happy to, <laughs> Brian. Why Brian. don't Brian's we get ears are a by this point. <laughs> 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 So, 
So we are, um, there's a big tent, like a stripy red and uh, white tent, like, like, a, tent. like the Bake Off tent. <laughs> And um, everyone's kind of setting up their stalls, lots of sort of gnomes walking along with wheelbarrows with big pumpkins. And there's, um, you know, some like fawns bringing in runner beans and mm. stuff. And there's a, a sheep baking jam, making jam and stuff in the corner. Oh, there's lots seen. of lots of um, people making delicious country things, bringing in cakes um, and there's music playing and things. And um, uh, <laughs> What's his name again? Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine <laughs> just <laughs> whoosh, the tent open. <laughs> Brenda! Oh, hello, Moonshine. How are you? I'm doing very, 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 <laughs> very, very, yes, it's very lovely to see well, you. thank <laughs> you, Brenda. <laughs> what have you brought for the competition? Oh, well, I see you've been working hard in your garden. I've watched you all hours of the day and night. Oh, you've watched me, have you? Well, I've watched your vegetable patch. You like what you <laughs> see, do you, Brenda? <laughs> 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 Yes, okay, moonshine. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've personally been growing this fabulous squash. Squash? Yes, don't you see? It's lovely and round in circumference, and it's a bright, vivid orange colour. Oh, is it a spaghetti squash? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it's more of the pumpkin family. Is it a butternut squash? <laughs> Actually, no, it's more of the pumpkin family. Is it a winter squash? <laughs> Actually... Do you know, yes, it's a winter squash. Lovely! <laughs> I like a bit of winter squash, Brenda. What have you brought in? Oh, I've brought in a marrow <laughs> in a barrow. Goodness! <laughs> Goodness me! Moonshine, I've... that's one of the biggest marrows I've ever been seen. Oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> thank you very much. God, I, I, you must have worked really hard on that. Did you do that all by yourself? Or was yes. There... Oh, you, you sure? You didn't get any help with that? No. So when I saw you <laughs> with one of my books from my library that I saw you take out on magical vegetables. That had nothing to do with this. That's just interesting reading, is it? Bedtime reading. Just a bit of bedtime reading, Brenda. Mm, mm, I see, I see. So if I were to, say, have a look in that book on the shelves in my library, I wouldn't find any soil in there or anything, would I? Soil? <laughs> what do you mean, soil? Oh, I'm sure I don't mean anything in particular. Just wondering whether or not this competition is going to stay as fair as it has these past six years. Well, 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 Brenda, I hope you don't mind me pointing out that it isn't a squash competition, it's a marrow competition. So if you want to enter the competition, you have to bring a marrow. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, perhaps I just was here to have a nice time. Did you ever think of that, Moonshine? I'm well, just here to share my vegetables with the, and see what everyone else has done. Not everything has to be a competition. No, not everything does have to be a competition, does it, Brenda? But for some reason, with you, it always is. It always is. <laughs> oh, I just want a quiet time with my vegetable patch now and again. And there you are, with all your comments and all your snipes. And I just thought I'd come and join the party. Well, why did you cut a hole in your fence for me to visit you? <laughs> I didn't want to take my advice on your man. Arrows, I Brenda. wanted us to be friendly neighbours when friendly? I first moved in. I didn't friendly? know that's what it was going to turn into. I found that book on my doorstep and I thought that you were going to help me with my marrow. But now I see you set me up to fail, Brenda. It was a friendly rapprochement. Re resolving, right? Um, yeah, it's Rosie resolving. Yeah, it's Rosie, Rosie resolving. Nice resolving. Oh. Yeah. Well, Brenda, we will see who wins. <laughs> Yes, I suppose we will. And she takes the uh, her marrow, her squash in a barrow, and runs away, <laughs> sniffing to herself, <laughs> <laughs> vowing that next year will be different. And maybe uh, um, Moonshine looks around, sees Brenda going off, just sort of goes, <sighs> and then he just beckons in, and he brings in a marrow. Smaller than his marrow, but still a marrow, and puts it in Brenda's spot. Oh. For Brenda. Bloody hell. Mm. Mm. Wants to keep me. the spirit of competition mm. alive. <laughs> alive and well at the county fair. Right. So, 
Dan's first scene of the first round? Would you um, like to establish or resolve? I suppose establish mm -hmm. um, how Crumpelstiltskin <laughs> came <laughs> under the sort of tutelage mm. at the library with Brenda. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's what I'd like to do. Okay. Of course, we have to start. We have to Brian. do it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do a scene in which in, in which Brenda uh, mm -hmm. goes to speak to Brian, played mm -hmm. by Dan, <laughs> uh, at the bar. Mm. Of course. Well, that was a very long story, and he takes a sip, and then uh, in comes Brenda into the into the bar because it's, it's a bit cold out there. She takes off a fur coat, she hangs it up on the on the. Uh, oh, barkeep, I'll have a mulled cider, please. Oh, hello. You seem new around here. Have we met before? Uh, no, I, I just came here because I, I had an appointment locally and I wanted a quiet drink <laughs> before, but it's not been that quiet. Oh, well, you don't find much quiet and time to reflect and think around these parts, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, you don't. I, I can tell. What fabulous glasses you're wearing. Oh, thank you so much. I, I made them myself. You made them yourself? I didn't mean to say that. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I just feel like I can talk to you. So no, yeah, apparently a lot of people feel like they can just talk to me. Well... I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing in here. No, but I'm about to find out. Yes, well, you know. <laughs> I'm here because we just had a massive party of sorts. And, uh, well, now's as good a time as any to admit. I'm actually the local librarian. And <laughs> um, is that you, Crumple Stiltskin? Oh, oh, yes, yes it is. Oh, lovely to see you. Uh, Thanks for coming on and being part of the weekend staff here at the library. It's so much fun. Do I get to read all the books? <laughs> well, I mean, yes, if you've got time in between all of your various chores and activities. Yes, how, ma how many chores and activities are we looking at? Two or three? <laughs> well, it depends on the day and how well you do the day before. Of course, you're only here for the weekend, so you can't do everything at once. I was going to ask you about that, actually. I know that you've got some really interesting books. <laughs> yes, we've many here in this library. <laughs> <laughs> and I wondered if I could have a little read of, you know, the ones where, you know, it's like loads of, loads of lovely magic. Oh, <laughs> you want to read the magic books, do you? Yes, because I want to be a mighty wizard! Oh, that's lovely. I once wanted to be a mighty wizard myself. What happened? Oh, that's for another time. But now you've got lots of <laughs> chores to do. If you want a chance to read those books, you might as well finish them. So here you go, here's a broom. I'd like you to go and dust over in the nature section. There's someone who's been bringing a load of soil into that <laughs> section and needs cleaning up post haste. Oh, oh, what a horrible, stupid bastard that person <laughs> must be. Well, not my words. Anyway, if you manage <laughs> to finish that in the next hour, I'll let you have five minutes with one of those spell books. What if, and now I'm just pitching here, right? I'm just pitching. What if I learnt a spell that would make a broom automatically do this? I like your style there. Go on. Why don't you have a go? Here, here's my favourite. Rudimentary spells for the novice warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Rudimentary spells for the novice warlock. And she goes off and makes herself a cup of tea and sort of leaves him to it, knowing full well that he's never going to be able to do that. <laughs> Great, wonderful. And uh, yeah, I, I, I guess that's... The and anyway, that's how I got myself an... Speaking of my apprentice, he's over there at the other side of the bar. Hello. Hello. I'm a mighty. Brian? Oh, yes. Brian's a great conversationalist. Oh, isn't he just? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> he's the first new person in town for 60 years. <laughs> Everyone's so, so exciting, desperate yeah. to talk to somebody else. <laughs> he looks at the barman who just goes. <laughs> 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 right. We are back to Sullivan. Mm. Nice. Uh, this is Sullivan's last scene of the first round of the game. Then we're going to do the tilt. So mm. Sullivan, do you want to establish or resolve? I think oh, maybe I'll establish. Mm -hmm. And I think this might be a scene where I try and convince you to, uh, what we, 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 we hatch a plan to go and get this dragon. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think, I think this, this is a really good scene to do. I think it'd yeah. be really nice to hear like what the trouble with the town is. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's something that's a kind of a bee in your bonnet and then you're, yeah. you're hatching the actual Hairbrain scheme. Yeah. Before we do this, can I please? This is really disgusting, everyone, but I've got really bad allergies today. <laughs> <laughs> and I really need to blow my nose. 
And I would like everyone around the table to make lots and lots of noise while I do that. Also, just okay. mute the mics for a second. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just mute, mute the well, mics, Terry. The mic. Mute all the mics and we'll act a bit out. Yeah, like, yeah go on, do that. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. Mute the okay, is that, are we muted? Wait one is second. Oh my god! I've never known so much Ooh. mucus! <laughs> Incredible. I've had, uh, I feel great. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your. Is everyone okay? If anyone right? just tuned okay? in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If anyone just tuned yeah. in, a moment yeah. of pure silence. Yeah. 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 Silence. If anyone just tuned in, patreon.com forward slash no rolls bar for yeah. bonus DD content yes. on Chaotic Neutral. Oh, yes. nice. Very good. There we go. Lovely. What we'll, a pro. Just, we'll just slide the plugs in whenever we can. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're, let's uh, do it. Yeah. Okay. Are we in the uh, library? Let's say that uh, you're in like a, a little office, mm. and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try and come in. Come in. Hello, Miss Brenda. Oh, crumpled silk, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm absolutely fuming. Oh, what are you fuming about? <laughs> Today is the biggest and most important day in the village, in the, the village show as well. You know, crumpled uh, silk. I saw you doing a lovely performance. Thank you. I love the music of Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> You do, you do, and I thought your performance of River Deep Mountain High was absolutely breathtaking. Thank you very much. Ain't no mountain high. Ass. That's not the same song, but okay. Um, anyway, you said something about a mountain being high. No, no, I only know one song. Well, you know. He's just been doing that on loop in different styles. Breathtaking in its interpretation, I thought. Anyway, that's not the point. What happened was, after my crowning moment, as my marrow was made to be the biggest and most special marrow in the whole village, that dragon, you know the dragon? Oh, I know the dragon. That dragon came down from the sky. Oh, yeah. And he torched the whole tent. No. He torched it. Oh, no. He torched it, no less. Did everyone become all crispy? Yes, they did. <laughs> everyone became crispy. Unfortunately, one of the fawns did get a bit crispy. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. No, but it's fine. We salvaged enough that we can have a lovely barbecue later on. But nonetheless, it was an awful aberration on this otherwise spectacular occasion. And I think it's time, high time, that we gave that dragon what for. You know what? I agree. Well, fabulous. I'm so glad you agree. Shall we start gathering tools to go? I think so. I You've mean, been reading all the magic books, I've been you? reading all of the magic books. I read a book the other day about, about you know, um, uh, uh, about how to uh, make a big dragon feel embarrassed. Oh. Um, <laughs> and also uh, how to raise an army in the undead. <laughs> what was that one? Well, uh, uh, it was uh, 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 make a ni some nice bread. Oh, well, I'm not sure the bread one will come too in handy, but uh, keep in mind all that stuff to embarrass the dragon, because if we can catch it off guard, I think we've got a chance. Now, do you want to help me gather up some of the good spell books we've got and perhaps some of these artifacts that I've been collecting over the years? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, one of my personal favourites is um, uh, uh, Top 10 Spells in the World. Oh. Written by Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> what an orator in the magical field that man is. He really is. Absolutely. I love top magic. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of it, why don't you help me gather up some of this top, top gear? Yeah. The only thing <laughs> is you're gonna have to I would like you to gather two of those swords from over there okay perhaps a few of these gemstones that jar of sand do not under any circumstances take this staff that's glowing green on the end <laughs> because it's a very important staff but it's nearly run out and I don't think we can use it just yet wait, 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 so in the meantime you sure you don't want to use it no I think it's important that we because as I said it's nearly run out but what does it do well I, it's not my place to really tell you that but what does but it, it do well it does absolutely um it's, uh, I don't, you're not quite there in your training yet, but today is a very important day, and I think, I, I'm not gonna hide too many things from you, so you'll understand. You see, that's very important. It's called the Staff of Resurrection. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds rude. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Resurrection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you're only 15, I totally understand. <laughs> but, yes, uh, it's, it's, it's something very powerful that can, well, you know what resurrection means, don't you? Yes, absolutely. It makes the crispy uncrispy. Uh, well, uh, in a manner of speaking, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you understand why it's really important that we don't waste that one charm. Well, absolutely. Only on a on a loved one or a very a, special occasion or a very good marrow. Uh, or, uh, uh, yes, I suppose that's what one could use it for. <laughs> but that, of course, that's not the reason that it's run down. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You must never. I mean, how many uses did you have on this thing? That's not important right now. We need, we've got we've got to face the dragon as quick as possible. 
How it doesn't many? matter. That listen, that charge, that it is, it is uh, that staff is charged once every blue moon, and as you know, those come around in this here village for th th three years. Every three and years, it gets a full charge. And you've had it for. for uh, Oh, well, let's see, when was the last blue moon? <laughs> if I consult my charts. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose the last blue moon was two and a half years ago. Um, and, and, and that's been in my possession for countless years. And, uh, and, 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 and it's not been you. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. All right. I, it's my job as a librarian to curate and learn things. And I've learned a lot about that stuff. And what, one thing I have learned, it's very important that we don't necessarily use it anyway. Gather some of those gemstones and I'll, I'll meet you out the front. I'm just going to go and get a few books. All right. OK. Here we go. And I'm going to grab the staff and stick it into my coat, quite obviously. Come on then, Crumple Stiltskin. Let's go, Miss Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Im implying that he's been using the staff of resurrection on all of his dead marrow. Yeah, yeah. Like the marrows have been year. rotting. Yeah. And the fact, no, no, I think I've it's had the same it. marrow. Same I think marrow. I've had. Oh, is, oh, it could be the same marrow. marrow. And you, that's why you, it's always you made, you, you made yeah. one big marrow one time, and it's rotted every year, and you yeah. brought it back to life. And, and that's what helps it keep growing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. last year it wasn't big enough. Mm. Yeah. No, you won last year because that's why. No, I won this year because last year you won. Yeah, oh. and then this year, and then this year, won. I might found a way to take it off you. And for some reason, with you have this with a giant, and I, with a giant. Right. So I think she's been using the staff of resurrection yep. on this one marrow that's been like rotting away, and it's just kept growing as a result. Amazing. And yep. now it's down from ten charges to one charge. <laughs> a marrowmancer. <laughs> marrowmancer. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Incredible. It's all coming up. Crumple still skin as well because you got two positive yeah. 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 Lovely stuff. Happy yeah. with that. Tegan, it is your turn to establish or resolve. Uh, can I have more than one person with me? It you can, can, yeah. you can have okay. multiple people, yeah. I feel like, like I, I, I want to continue that and establish like how I get roped in and then Clarence is the transport. Mm. So it's like you mm. being like, okay, I've got to go on this quest, but like, and I'm like, oh, let me help, let me help. And mm. then you're like, the transport's an issue and I'm like, oh, God, I can't let that happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, great, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Wonderful. Well, we have to start where we always start. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, but we didn't start with Brian. How embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, goodness, this, this whole town is a, is an interesting. Do you all know each other? Yeah, you can say a lot of us are related in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? I don't know. I'm not from around here. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's like our thing. Yeah. Well, you're all related. Oh, well, yeah. No, I mean, well, we're not actually in any way related. Yeah, we've, we've well, got a uh, we're bl our blood. We're blood. Well, I heard that part of the story. Yeah. I mean, it was disgusting. In that way. But I do, I mean, I've got my regular brother lives here too, although we are, you know, I was, I'm adopted. Cause you, you're not related to the horse just over there, are you? Yeah, the big handsome guy with the shiny coat and oh, long I'm mane. Uh, and Clarence, come over here. Oh. I didn't realise you were all part of a big family. Being new in town, I'm just learning everybody's connections. Well, yes, we are. We are related. Oh, lovely! It, it must be nice to have a brother. Must be. Must be. For some. I bet you get up to a lot of japes. Well, I mean, we did just finish one pretty big jape. <laughs> <laughs> one of the all-time great japes. You know what? I'm having such fun. And I have got 25 minutes before I've got to go to my appointment. Why don't you tell me about the jape? <laughs> Yeah, let's it up. <laughs> hey man, have you got those Tina Turner records? Clarence is looking for them and he's gonna kill me if I've lost them again. <laughs> well, uh, I kind of traded them, you see. Oh. Uh, I found these great, these great Pokemon cards and I've never seen anything like them. And I just had to have them. And I'd only learnt one song and it wasn't even a Tina Turner song. Oh, God. <laughs> Ain't no mountain high enough, it's not the same. That's a class every Tina head. <laughs> <laughs> that song. <laughs> we oh, all know it. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll deal with Clarence later. I guess he's gonna be pissed. Well, I, I've got, I've got, I've got a pitch for you. Oh, I love pitches. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you ever imagined uh, fighting a dragon? But it's me and you. <laughs> Dude, I imagine that every day I put it in my gratitude journal. It's my favorite imagination that I'm grateful for. Oh, God. Well, you're about to be a whole lot more grateful because Brenda, Brenda wants to get rid of that dragon. <gasps> we do because it's making people crispy. Yeah, uh, and we like them soft and doughy. <laughs> soft and doughy, stabable, stabable. Stabable. <laughs> and, and, and we can finally use the magical spell to summon the undead army. And <gasps> we can have together, but we just need to be able to get there. 
to because the dragon's a long ways away. It's a long way. Yeah, it's, and our, our teenage legs get tired real fast. Absolutely, it's it's like good fifteen minutes down the M25. That, that's a heck of a gallop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait. A gallop. <laughs> gallop. Oh man. We gotta do it. Oh man. We can do it. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> all we're gonna do is ride your brother straight all the way through to Pleasure Town. That's where we're going to find. <laughs> so the dragon lives Pleasure Town uh, canonically now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and when then we'll be able to rise up the undead army. People won't be crispy no more. Okay, come on. We'll we'll ask. We'll ask. Clarence is uh, outside nibbling some bushes. <laughs> Not bushing <laughs> damage. Hey, Clar Clarence. Yes. So Sorry to bother you. Um, Have you, you seen my Tina Turner record? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, who's no. Tina Turner? Never heard of her. What's that? She sang Ain't No Mountain High Enough. <laughs> Did she How sing that? How does that go again? Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I love that song. Hey, look, we're in it. I, you know I don't want to bug you, okay? We're just, mm -hmm. we're in a dilly of a pickle. Mm -hmm. You know how, <laughs> you know how we've always wanted to raise it? <laughs> Never pickles a great phrase. You know how, you know how we've always wanted to raise that army of mm -hmm. the undead because mm -hmm. we really like doughy people. Right. The thing, the thing you're always drawing images on that are stuck on the fridge. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I sign them with my name and my age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, like a really great opportunities come up, and you know I'd hate to 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 bug you for this kind of thing, but Pleasure Town, you know Pleasure Town, mm -hmm. it's a ways off. Um. And it, our teen legs get so sore because the tendons aren't fully formed yet. They're only teen legs. They're only teen legs, strong Clarence. Horse legs. And I, look, man, I'd really owe you one if if you let us ride you. Mm-hmm. Nice, <laughs> strong. We'll spit in your mouth. We'll spit in your mouth. That's <laughs> <laughs> not a thing that horses like. Oh, it's but kind of demeaning to be ridden. If you catch my drift. We, what, 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 what if, what if we put roller skates on and just held on to your tail? That'd be fun. More acceptable. What's in Pleasure Town anyway? Ah, uh, there's a big old dragon. Yeah, it's just a dragon. It's just a regular just dragon. Just a big old, and, and you, you both know what a dragon is. It makes people crispy. Yeah, makes people crisp, crispy. Crisps. Yeah. Why does it make people crispy? Oh, because... Uh, that's how he prefers them. Yeah. Because that's he, how he prefers he them. He likes them. And he uses... He uses uh, probably barbed words, I would barbed, imagine. Yeah, barbed yes, words. barbed <laughs> words that are shaped and spout and... Hot like fire. Fire, fire yeah, yes. You yes. didn't tell me there was fire. I know. I, I just thought it was. I thought it was a uh, you know, mean word. How big do you think a dragon is? Like a chihuahua. Like yeah. a compact like, like a little mm. little unit. Think, think, think bigger. Think bigger. Think bigger. Oh, like a big chihuahua. Like a, like a like yes, a like a big bigger bigger chihuahua. Bigger than the a biggest a fucking chihuahua you've ever seen. Oh, a big wow. winged, scaled chihuahua that breathes fire. Oh. It sounds kind of cool. Yes, it's, it's very cool and it's very dangerous. And you'd be very stupid to go after a dragon. But Clarence, if we can get this dragon and slay him, I'll be able to get enough money to leave your house and make my own colony. And that's why you want to slay a dragon. You want to risk your life so you can leave our house. Well, you were the one who said you wanted to get rid of me. I was just trying to make it easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be on your own. It's I never said I wanted to be on my own. I never said I wanted to be on my own. I merely said for you to stop what? embarrassing me what? in like public. If my whole existence is embarrassing, looks like you'll never be not embarrassed. So you're always coming up with half-brained schemes. I you always want to slay a dragon. You never know what a dragon is. Just because you got a lunch as me, I've got like five little pubes on the top of Where my Where is even my hairbrush in this? I went in the pit of no return. <laughs> <laughs> of course it went into the pit of no return. Gog, Gog, calm down, okay? It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Do you want to spit in my mouth? Spit in my mouth. I'll spit in your mouth. Uh, and you, uh, uh, encouraging him uh, what? to what slay a dragon, raise an army of the undead, well, it's good fun. Hardly enchanting, is it? I'm a Monty wizard. 
You're a mighty wizard. Uh, yes, and Brenda is going to come along. Yeah, Brenda's coming. She'll be our chaperone, like an adult. Yeah. Brenda's coming along, you say. Yes, yeah. and I've got a lovely mm -hmm. stick. And we've a got magical a, stick. a stick. Oh, yes, I haven't told you about this. Pretty cool. Whoa. Stops people from being uh, crispy. Oh, it keeps them in dosage. <laughs> 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 nice. Just this one. <gasps> Just stop. Mm -hmm. stop. <laughs> if you just wear. <laughs> <laughs> With roller skates, just this once. And just to make sure that nothing bad happens to either of you two. Okay? Yeah! yeah! Step on skates! Step on skates! <laughs> Oh, wow. Amazing. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> the, the invisible <laughs> metaphorical key to your mouth has gone into the pit of no return. <laughs> Is it like a jinx? How, how, when does it come undone? <laughs> oh, okay. It's really good. It is my turn to establish or resolve. And I think I will establish, I would like to have a scene with Brenda. Nice. And I would like to talk about why the chance Clarence wants to go on this quest. Interesting. Uh, seems Interesting. Like Clarence is, uh, mm. and I'm pretty sexy. <laughs> 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 Clarence is a horse. <laughs> Best we forget. <laughs> okay. So we start in the bar. Oh. Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does sound like quite a jape. Um, Clarence. Yes. How did you feel about it? <laughs> well, this jape was rather annoying, but let me tell you the real truth. Oh, of the matter. This is, was this not true? This was, this was... Oh, you have more This was the blithering of idiots. Hello. Please rearrange your mic. Please rearrange my mic. Sorry it was to pulling, sorry. It's We're live, crispy. guys. Keep We're that, live. Keep that mic doughy. <laughs> mic doughy. <laughs> not crispy. Old doughy mic. I've been taking it as well. Oh, no. Bloody hell. What? Oh, oh, what have you done here? I put it in my Colonel Sanders bow. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> is that okay? Is that okay? I think it is. All good. Everyone's okay. got slapped. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Can turn it around the other way. Yeah. Thanks for bearing with us, guys. Because that will be. Oh. This will be better if it goes around the other way. <laughs> oh Patreon.com forward slash No Rolls Bard. Sign up at the ten dollar tier, and you will get exclusive content from Chaotic Neutral because No Rolls Bard and Chaotic Neutral are going to be sharing their Patreon. When the first episode of our D&D &D campaign, a fully edited five episode <laughs> campaign goes live on December the 22nd, you can get yourself an exclusive episode that will also drop on December 22nd. A prologue of sorts where you'll find out a little bit more about our characters' backstories, maybe how they met, maybe some more stuff about the world too. It won't be essential viewing <laughs> to the series, but you can, if you do enjoy the content we're making, see more of us playing D&D. &D. And I would appreciate if you did that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to Lee from Wild Goose Creative for making the logo for the channel. Are we ready to go? Yes. Anyway, there's a blivering of idiots. <coughs> oh, so, well, in that case, let me hear your truth. So there I was at the library. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's you, Clarence. Oh. I thought someone was knocking at the door. No, it's just how I walk. Yes, it is. Yes, it's just I've like seen it many clock, you know. Yeah. Um, Brenda, I hear you're putting together a little bit of a party. Uh, she's holding a uh, section of books. W uh, what kind of party? Uh, the kind of uh, adventuring party. Oh, I thought you meant we? the party that I'm having for Christmas. No, I'm not that one. They, but are, I will be they are legendary. Yes, no, I'll, I'll oh. be having one. Don't get me wrong. I just oh. won the Mara competition. You know so how I feel about your eggnog. No, uh, it is famous around these parts. Wonderful, delicious. Stuff. Knocked moonshine. But out anyway, for the, the whole party week that once. you're putting on, that you're taking my idiot brother along with. And Crumplestiltskin. Ah, yes, my apprentice from Crumplestilt. Crumplestilt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that apprentice, the one yeah, that's hard that to one. pronounce. Um, I would like to come, oh, but I have goodness. one condition. I will take you on this mission. But is there any way that you can do anything about this? And uh, Clarence shakes his head, and this uh, Clarence is wearing, wearing what sort of looks like a bridle, and this little thing spins around, and this little charm appears on the goodness neck. Goodness me. Can I touch it? Yes. That looks like, what's it called? The enchanting, the enchanting charm, charm of enchantment. That looks like <laughs> an, enchanting char an, an enchanting charm of enchantment. Yes. How long have you had this, Clarence? Uh, years now. Well, I mean, I've always found you to be enchanting and charming. No wonder. Well, 
That's the problem, you see. I oh. want people to think I'm enchanting for me, and not because of my charm. Oh, that's devastating. Is there anything you could do magically to remove the power of this charm? Well, I just want to go back to the way things were before. You see, according to the books, and mind, I've only been reading the books and practicing everything from our safety here in the town of Cinnamon Brown. <laughs> Cinnamon Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon Brown. That's yeah. where we are. So I haven't We're really. Just off the M25. Yeah. I've, I've read uh, all about those in theory, but I would imagine there's something that can be done. But I must say, it might be beyond my realms. We might have to find it on the road to Pleasure Town. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, I've been to Pleasure Town before. <laughs> oh, I bet you are. I've been to Pleasure Town many. Many times. I can't say that surprises me. And class. that's where <laughs> I point with a hoof. That's where I picked up this charm in the first place. Oh goodness! So you think returning to the scene of the enchanting charm of enchantment would uh, disenchant help to the yeah, that enchanting one. charm of enchantment? Yes, I believe that returning to the scene. Now, Clarence, I think it. it might well be doable, but we'll need someone who knows these parts and has known them for many, many centuries. Someone who might be able to get into various nooks and crannies of the no. of the road to Pleasure Town that might be no. able to get in and fix some of the flora and the fauna. No. I can't <laughs> promise you're going to like it, Clarence, but it might be the only way to save your charm. You know, he might be a curmudgeon, but they're very, they're very good at getting into little nooks and crannies. Yes. We'll have to bring Moonshine along. No. Can you handle that, Clarence? I suppose in this scenario, the enemy of my enemy. This may be just a lesser enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Gosh, do the bigger one and then I'll deal with this one afterwards. That's such an enchanting turn of phrase <laughs> you've got there, Clarence. I do have a way with words. You really do, yeah. Okay, well, let me see what I can do. I'll read some of the books and, and perhaps it might be time for you to go and see if you can bury the hatchet with uh, old moonshine. And if not, I'll try for you, but we can do it. I believe. Do you believe in Cinnamon Brow? I believe in delicious bushes. <laughs> and those and are only found brow. here in Cinnamon Brow. <laughs> Good day, Brenda. <laughs> bye bye, Clarence. And she starts gathering up more books. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is all How making many sense. Books yeah. is <laughs> it's <laughs> currently making sense. Yeah, it's all yeah, currently making sense. So, Clarence is a. Is a enchanted horse because he's got the enchanting charm of enchantment mm -hmm. but he doesn't he no longer wants to be an enchanting horse he wants to be he just wants to be a horse that is enchanting by nature yes, yes. yes. yeah he wants yeah. people to see him <laughs> <laughs> people, people can't that see is, that is talent. absolutely hilarious <laughs> people can't see past he's just he can't, so he needs people, people he doesn't think, think he's got he, any true friends the problem is yeah the, well, the problem yeah it's like it's yeah it's that thing of like when you get too rich right and mm. people start hanging around you mm -hmm. because you're rich you never access to nice yeah. things you no longer know if you're someone people want to be friends with i think mm. yeah. clarence has that exactly that exact thing with this enchanting charm he mm. now no longer knows if he's in Enchanting mm. or not, the or if it's just the charm the doing it. Yeah, there the blessings become the curse. There it is. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, he's got some complex issues going <laughs> on there. Um, okay. So, is it me? It's you. It's me. Your okay. Um, well, I resolved last time, so I guess I'll establish this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, who? I mean, I haven't spoken to you guys at all, so mm. yeah. Um, maybe we could have a scene together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I so I guess I'm going to be brought on the mission, right? By to get into all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just imagining rocks and areas with like up there. We can't all climb yeah. up there. He's a horse, and they've got teenage yeah. legs. So we need someone to come along yeah. to get all of the bits and bobs that we'll yeah. need to take down this dragon. Okay, um, so I mean, what what do I what am I bringing to this mission? I bring nothing apart from my scrabbling, yeah. my scrabbling, yeah. and your your d your centuries of knowledge of the town. <laughs> apparently, yeah, you've yeah. been oh, you've been a pleasure town as well. Mm. Okay, so maybe so. Why don't we have a scene where we all come together before the mission? Fun. Yeah, like and then we kind of hash out what our roles are going to be. So we could save that for Dan's final scene, mm. and this could be another scene for you. I think maybe mm. that's better as like our, yeah. our, our, yeah. okay. our, okay. our pre-tilt okay. scene might be Dan bringing <coughs> everyone together because Dan is Dan okay, is the fine. Nick Fury in this <laughs> <Yeah>. terrible <laughs> Avengers that we've put yeah. together. The Gandalf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what is Clarence, uh, what is um, Moonshine up to? Well, well, I mean, where could we meet? Maybe we just meet 
at the country show. Yeah. Yeah. And we just bump into each other, maybe. Yeah. The, yeah. the three of us. Yeah. Is the gazebo on fire yet? Um, the dragon came maybe down the and burned it. Yeah, the gazebo's. Let's say it's currently on fire. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So gazebo's on fire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow! God. What's oh. going on? What have you two done? We didn't do anything. We're, we're not a dragon. We're nothing like a what dragon. What do you yeah. mean a dragon? You know, like a small, chihuahua-sized, yeah. compact... Yeah, that has terrible things to say. Really barbed <laughs> words. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that dragon just came along and just set fire to everything. In fact, there was this, uh, there was this barrow here which has just a burnt-out... Marrow. Michael? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Was this. You knew this Marrow? He's all crispy. He's <laughs> very crispy. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh dear me. <laughs> Poor Michael. Let's get out of here, Michael. Oh. Come oh. on, Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> what are you two looking at? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing, sir, nothing, nothing, sir. Nothing. Why don't you use all that spit in each other's mouths and put out the fire? <laughs> but then we won't have enough to spit in each other's mouths. Yeah, that's the most important thing. <laughs> Open on. your mouths, I'll give you a spit. Okay. Uh, Oh, thank you. Um, oh, um, now go and do something useful. <laughs> okay. Okay, like what? Oh, like my what? God. Where are you going? My God. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this is bad. My God. <laughs> 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 you two both need to take one d8 of poison damage. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's magical spit. Maybe it's oh. magical spit. Can I That's just fun. say, when uh, Moonshine comes out, I fully lose Rosie. I <laughs> lose it. <laughs> Rosie, oh. Rosie's totally gone. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared into I the character. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay. I, mean, I guess we just have to have met, right? Yeah. yeah. When we yeah. got yeah. mission, it's like, you know, we we've know seen the devastation it. of the town. We've, yeah. You've now yeah. got personal stake in the mission. Yeah, because well. Michael we've got crispy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's it. <laughs> so I'm. You gonna, want the vengeance for Michael? I do. Yeah. I, I don't know whether. I suppose this is a resolve because it is finishing everything off and yeah. setting mm -hmm. us off on the mission. But I think Brenda will bring Clarence um, and all of her books and all the various things she's gathered in a little bag to the gazebo where she'll find you and you with Michael, Crispy Michael. Um, and that's how we will all resolve to go off and yeah. take okay. out the chihuahua-sized dragon, or is it actually a dragon-sized dragon? I think it's, it's a dragon dragon-sized dragon. 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 dragon, but we, we, we don't they know what a dragon is. They also don't know what a chihuahua is. Great, <laughs> right. perfect. Let's do that then. That's the scene that we're doing. Okay, so we've already, we've already asked You've asked Clarence. You've asked, I've, yeah, I've yeah, agreed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You've got a thing going on. Moonshine, yeah, yeah. Moonshine is the only joined. character who's not officially joined, so maybe there's a reason why you arrived. Well, here. I could come to Brenda, like cap in hand, being like, Michael's all crispy. Yeah. Can you, can you help me, please? That's mm. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you guys maybe are going to let slip about the staff. And she's like, ah! Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah. Because, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the staff can decrisp. Yeah, it Michael. could be decrisp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll, but at we'll the moment, what you're after is vengeance on the yeah. dragon because the dragon killed Michael. Mm. Yeah, I guess, or mm. other reasons. But so yeah, um, yeah, maybe we don't because I've told you not to bring the staff. So yeah, if you yeah, reveal yeah. the staff, yeah. that would yeah. be oh, yeah, 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 that's very true. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. okay, okay. So we come out of the of the library, you mm -hmm. and I. Oh, Clarence, there they are. Did you see the the gazebo is just on fire? The tent, it's all burning. That no amount of spit's going to take that down. How did you break on these things? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is who you were taking before. <laughs> yeah. Just these two. Well, she's a limited resource. Do you have anyone town. else? Unfortunately, not. Everyone else has gone away for the winter, and a few of the people did get trapped inside. How powerful is your magic? It's not. Because well, I can't hold a sword. Powerful and not. I can hold a conversation, but you I can't can, hold a sword. You can hold a very fabulous Thank conversation. You. We've all thought so, Clarence. Everyone finds you so enchanting. Brenda! Yes. Brenda the dragon! He came along with his barbed words! Nice barbed words. His word. barbed words and he lives the town! 
tent on fire! It's fire, you idiots, that yes. lit the tent on fire, not barbed words! We don't know that for sure! I didn't witness it, I just saw the aftermath! No, no. Uh, it, it was the fire. The barbed words didn't help! But it was the fire that lit the tent on Yeah, fire. he kept on going, you fucking pricks! He, he kept on saying that! You fucking pricks! <laughs> yeah. and the fl- and the, uh, you oh. fucking pricks! He turned around to me, he said, are you wearing that today, you fucking pricks? Yeah, he looked yeah. at me and he said, where'd you get those bracelets from? I said, accessorize? He said, that place is stupid! Oh, fuck! It was horrible! It was what bad. size out of interest was this dragon? Well, it's probably so about it's the size of like a two in their combat right. <laughs> And she's going. She's was going it, to was it the size of a chihuahua or was it just far away? <laughs> it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it did change in she's size quite do, a lot. She's going to do she's this <laughs> and stop you guys <laughs> rocking back and forth. Oh, let's hang on. Oh. I, you sit on this rock. Okay, okay. Oh. I don't think you did see the dragon, did you? I don't think it said anything about accessorize, which, as we all know, is a fabulous <laughs> shop, and was look we were d- we did so well when it came and gave us its business. The very pleased when it boomed. Yeah. They yeah. sponsored the village fate for the past six years. I always wondered whether Claire's accessories were upset with accessorizing. No, Claire's accessories. The contract ended. They didn't want to sponsor us anymore. <laughs> they weren't seeing return on their investment because there were only seven of us in the town to begin with. I got my ears pierced there. <laughs> we all got our <laughs> ears <laughs> pierced there. <laughs> And don't they look lovely? <laughs> but the important thing now is that we do our best to save Cinnamon Brow from the dragon who I'm afraid to say is much bigger than the size of a chihuahua. Oh no. Oh. Are you sure you want to come on this quest? Yes! yes. <laughs> 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 I have been looking up some very special spells and I think we can defeat this dragon. Yes. Which spells do you know? Well, the spell, the spell of embarrass, embarrassing a dragon. Yeah. And you brought your top ten book of spells. My top ten book of spells by Jeremy, by Clark. Jeremy Clarkson. Clarkson. What's the tenth spell in the book, Sullivan? No, it's Sullivan's friend. <laughs> Crumple Stillskin. <laughs> it's a Bugatti. A D- oh no! It's a. It, no, this is his top ten cars. Turn it upside down, and flip it round. Oh, here we go. It's a double-sided book. <laughs> That's the real magic. I don't know where we managed to find it, but it got donated. His once. top one is making a double-sided book. The next one is obviously embarrass the dragon. Then there's the uh, making the added army, and then there is uh, so what's, what's it, what? making um, edamame. Yes, making edamame. Thank you, yes. thank you. Which, as we all know. Dragons are allergic to edamame. Exactly. Mm. So that'll come in handy. Exactly. Well, I'm glad to see you've been doing your reading. Do you feel confident that you're going to be able to do these spells? I've been watching you practicing. Absolutely. There's still a lot of soil inside, isn't there? Is it, uh, there is a lot of soil inside, mm. yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Moonshine. Moonshine's not so happy. What about moonshine? Oh, something terrible happened. Okay, so coming up the path, yeah. you just hear. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious. M- moonshine. Okay. Hello, Brenda. Oh. Clearly you're not doing too well. I'm afraid things are not very good in the house of moonshine right oh, no, now. No, that's terrible. Anyway, we've got to what be getting off. What are you off. doing here? What are you doing here? What I was here first. What are you doing here? Well, we're, we're, this is where we've I... We've masterminded I'm, this whole operation. Mm-hmm. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's all crispy. Oh, I can see that. That's Michael, is it? What do you mean? Of course it is! Well, I'm just, it's How a pile can of ash. you not recognise him? It bears no resemblance to a marrow in any way, shape or form. Yeah. Certainly not a marrow as fabulous as Michael was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I think you did. <laughs> I think she did too. No, I didn't. I'm here to try and bring this town together. This Moon- lovely little village of ours, Cinnamon Brown. Speaking of which, uh, Moonshine, you could come and join us. Yeah, you could get into all the nooks and crannies. Yes, yes all Moonshine. the nooks and crannies of Pleasure Town. You see, this dragon, who's been terrorising our village for many years, as you well know, is responsible for this, well, I'm afraid to say it, crisping of Michael. <laughs> I'm going to go to that dragon and say some very barbed words. We do need you and your barbed words because nobody knows the way to Pleasure Town. (laughs) You, Moonshine. You've been there so many times. You've navigated all those slippery nooks and crannies. (laughs) You're almost a husk. (laughs) 
How much you visited Pleasure Town? <laughs> and you take so many people to Pleasure Town with you. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, New people right. every time to Pleasure Town. <laughs> Coach loads of people to Pleasure Town with you. <laughs> I'm in great demand. <laughs> they call you the mayor of Pleasure Town. <laughs> So I can think of nobody better to join our party and complete us than you. Are we going to be able to do that, do you think? I don't know. Do you think we will? Well, nobody is a better friend than a neighbour. Perhaps this is how good neighbours become good friends. <laughs> they move to Channel 5. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, do you think you're going to be able to put your differences with... Clarence aside. Why the long face, Clarence? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one allowed to make that joke. <laughs> I want nothing from you about my marrow, <laughs> about my hat, and about my scar. And I want an end to the horse jokes. If you agree to those terms, then we can work together. Fine. I'll hoof the horse jokes. Horse jokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my last one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Lovely to see that. And I am terribly sorry about Michael. I wish there was something that we could do to, to bring it back, but I'm afraid a dead marrow is a dead marrow and there's no returning. Why do you say that? I don't know. I didn't say anything. That makes it sound like there is a way to return No, it. there certainly isn't a way. It's There's absolutely like no a, way whatsoever. It's like a double negative, no. what you just said. Well, I'm just trying to comfort you and allow you to move on and leave Michael behind as we go on this very dangerous adventure. Should we go? What about that a stick of erections? I'm not going to Don't mention erections in front of the teenage boys. I didn't. He mentioned it all of his own. Your teenage filthy mind. Put that away. We've got to go to Pleasure Town. <laughs> <laughs> And I think oh, the way that we're, it, uh, Moonshine gets on Brenda's shoulders, mm -hmm. Brenda <laughs> gets on Clarence, yep. and yep. then we and the grab onto the tail of the roller skates. Tail. Yeah, perfect. Yep. <laughs> and that's how we go to Pleasure <laughs> Isn't that how we yeah. all go to Pleasure Town? Yeah. Yeah. how we all go to Pleasure Town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence gets ripped well, hard a visual. by four people. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we are on our way to Pleasure Town <laughs> to fight a dragon, a euphemism, if you will. Uh, so that brings the first part of the game to an end. What we now are going to do is on these cards that we've been given throughout the game, we flip them over uh, and they will have numbers on them. Um, I'll show you mine. If you have two of the same one, you just add the values together. If you have uh, different ones, uh, you take the highest value in one color and minus the other value in the other color. Uh, and that will, so in the case of Tegan, you have plus one red. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to go round. This is called the tilt, by the way. We're just going to go round and work out who has the highest in any value. So, Sullivan, you have a? A nine blue. A nine blue. I have one red. One red. I have an eight red. I've got five red. I've got an eight blue. Eight blue. So mm. Sullivan and I mm -hmm. have the highest value. Uh, what happens now is we're going to choose um, one of each colour of card to add to the game, and these are going to affect the second round of us playing. Um, so let's go around and read what uh, everyone's cards say, because uh, Sullivan and I will have to make a choice about the blue ones and the red ones. Right. So the, uh, my ones are both blue, and one of them is guilt. Somebody panics, or failure. Someone or something survives survives against the odds. Mm. Ooh. Pretty good. Great, I've got, uh, my blue one is Paranoia, the thing you stole has been stolen. Uh, and the red one is Innocence, love rears its ugly head. I have Tragedy, death out of the blue. Or Tragedy, confusion, followed by pain. <laughs> I've got Mayhem, magnificent self-destruction. I've got Innocence, somebody is not so innocent after all. Oh. I have uh, paranoia, two people cross paths and everything changes. Or failure, something precious is on fire. 
Ooh, well, we've already Ooh. had something precious on yeah. fire. So, mm -hmm. Sullivan, you get to choose one of the blue ones because you were the player with the highest blue yeah. value, uh, and we'll add that to the game. I think I'm going to go for something precious on fire because we've got fire in this story. We mm. can definitely have There's something else. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. a dragon. Uh, oh, okay. do we need to read those? No, 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 no. no, no. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, keep sorry. that in front of you, Dan, but flip okay. your other one the other way round for me, please. Uh, if you leave the red one's face up for now, oh, sorry, I will sorry. choose. So we've got Love Rears Its Ugly Head, Confusion Followed by Pain. I think that's quite weak, so that'll go. Uh, I think Magnificent Self Destruction mm. could be a lot of fun. Uh, really or we could do Death Out of the Blue, but I'm, I'm leaning towards yeah. Self Destruction. That's my yeah. feeling too. Um, there's another one. And oh, yeah, yeah, there's innocence, love is over here. What I was think this one again? I think we'll stick with that one. Okay. This was somebody is not so innocent after uh, all. Ooh. But we've they got kind of, quite they nice. kind of work together. Yeah. There's no villain in here. Way, yeah. 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 So, so what we're going to do in the, so we're going to take a quick break in a second uh, and gear up for the second half. But in the second half, we all get two more scenes to uh, further our character's story. We'll probably do a little bit more diving into this dungeon known as Pleasure Town. Uh, sounds like somewhere Don Allen goes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we will um, try to weave in these tilt bits. Uh, so we'll try to weave in the mayhem, and we'll try to weave in uh, this failure this as well. Um, so we'll also be gathering more of the negative and positive cards, and that will help us resolve what happens to our characters after we've played all of our scenes. So we will see you in five minutes' time after we've had a quick break. Uh, Thanks for watching. Bye. Waka waka. Waka waka. waka, waka. waka. <laughs>
welcome back. We are post tilt in our game of Fiasco, which means we are careening towards the end of our caper. We're going to get we're going to get to do one more scene. Uh, sorry, two more scenes each, Ooh. and attempt to resolve all of the dangling plot threads that we have. And we'll go up into more detail on those in a minute. But first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to Lee at Goose Creative, who created the channel logo and the mascot, who at the moment I'm calling Newt, but we will <laughs> we'll think of a better name for them down the line. And thank you also to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far. Thank you so much. If you're watching this live stream, we are absolutely blown away that so many people have subscribed and are watching the very first live stream we've ever done over here. It's It's been really fun so far. Mm -hmm. We've got another great yeah. half of this thing to go. Uh, and also just want to let you know that if you sign up to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no rolls barred, because no rolls barred and chaotic neutral are going to be sharing a Patreon, you can get exclusive D&D content at the $10 level on December the 22nd this month, as it would be, in, it's not just like you get December 22nd every month, December 22nd <laughs> this month you're going to get an exclusive prologue episode of our D&D campaign which gives a little bit more backstory into the characters, how they meet, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be great and we would really appreciate the support because this sort of stuff is, is quite expensive to do mm -hmm. and we've, we, you know, we, we made it and we're going to put it out there for free but it would be great if you could support us because then we can make more D&D &D stuff essentially with you guys having helped us commission it. Sullivan's and if you're a sponsor. Especially yeah. Is yeah. Just oh, through it's through. huge. Yeah, 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 but you yeah, deserve yeah. it. Yeah. Ten million dollars an episode. Ten million, million an episode. Yeah. Very hard to do. Right. Fiasco. We are on our way to Pleasure Town <laughs> in our regaling of the story <laughs> to Brian at the bar. Um, we have so far seen a burned out gazebo from the dragon using its barbed words and chihuahua <laughs> size to fearsomely scorch the earth. Uh, we have seen Michael the Marrow oh. perish. Crispy. We've seen uh, Brenda potentially using a staff of resurrection to make her marrows last into the ages and Could win multiple years of county fair competition. We've seen brotherly friction between Clarence the Enchanted Horse and Gork the Orc <laughs> over the continual losing of things into the Pit of No Return or whatever it was called. It's not my fault, you put the pit there. <laughs> put the pit there, well, you keep dropping the staff. <laughs> We've seen Crumple Stiltskin and uh, Gork the Orc form a bond of blood brotherhood and spitting in each other's mouths. Yeah. Hood. Wow. Uh, it's real X-rated, this, yeah. uh, that part of the <laughs> <laughs> but as we move towards the end of our story, we have new elements to try to weave in during our scenes. We have mayhem in that magnificent self-destruction must occur mm -hmm. during this portion of the game. And we also have failure that something precious must be seen to be on fire. Oh, no. Mm. And when facing a dragon, I imagine that's pretty easy. So I'm sure we'll nail it. Right, so we're going to do scenes again. We go round. Everyone gets to choose whether to resolve or establish, if you happen to just be joining us midstream. Uh, which means, you, if you're establishing, you get to choose what scene your character is having and who they're having it with. If you're resolving, you get to choose the outcome, either positive or negative. Positive or negative. And that will help determine what happens to our characters after we finish the final scene in the little epilogue scenes that we get to do. So, Sullivan Brown, mm -hmm. kicking us off in the second half. Mm. Would you like to establish or resolve? Um, I think maybe I will establish as we're on our way mm -hmm. while we're while we're zooming along in our yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, uh, loves that, of course. <laughs> Stop chapping my ass. I can't hear you. I'm too far behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we are making our plan to summon the army of the undead. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> cha 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 cha! <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> You're my best friend. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> 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 yum, 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 yum. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, that's Let's yell. Yes, that's yes. Yes. Oh, sorry, we don't have a card for that. So we don't have a card for. But let's do it more. <laughs> And <laughs> shut the stream down for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll never get the channel monetized, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of the stream. 
<laughs> Gork, Gork, I've got a great plan. Yeah, uh, Crumble Sealskin, what is the plan? Okay, so I've 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 got book. I've got the book of of the uh, the you know the 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 the, 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 the ne Necronomicon. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and and I think maybe I can use this special stuff <gasps> and maybe use it. Uh, you know, with some magic, extra magic. The staff maybe. of erections. The staff of erections. <laughs> and I'll make What's that? all of the uh, nothing. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and I think I can transmute this power and make make it uh, make all of these dead bodies erect, and uh, and they'll all come <laughs> back. <laughs> they'll come back. Couple still skin. You're like glowing. Thank you. Yeah, like hearing you talk about this, you seem different. Like not just excited and animated about the prospect of finally becoming a great and powerful wizard, but uh -huh. maybe there was something in that spit that we swallowed from moonshine. I think so, maybe we're both gonna become powerful wizards. <gasps> I hadn't even planned on that, but that's way cooler than starting a colony. <laughs> maybe I can do both. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right, all we need to do is both put our hands on this stuff. So just hold it with the other hand, okay? Kay, give me the erection. Okay, okay, right, here we go. Okay, we're both gonna hold our hands on our stuff and yeah. we have to say the magic words, yeah. which we're both currently reading right now, yeah. so we'll Say it at the same time. <laughs> Got it. Ready. <laughs> Here we go. Wise dies <laughs> if you can keep us. To eavesdrop, but it did sound like you said the special words to a spell, which are wise guys. If you can hear us, we'll be really happy if you give us a real kiss. <laughs> hey, you just concentrate on keeping moonshine from falling off your shoulders. <laughs> 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 Our moonshine's clinging on, don't you worry about that. Look, look, can you see? Look at the graveyard over there. Whoa! The skeletons, they're fully erect. Look at all the erect skeletons. <laughs> oh I've never God. seen so many bones. Come with us. <laughs> <laughs> Come with us, erect skeletons. Come with us, erect skeletons. We will lead you to victory. <laughs> 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 It's fun and to see kids having fun. Do you ever get the feeling they're the prophesied ones? <laughs> 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 These fucking idiots. <laughs> we're the worst. We're the worst characters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know my makeup off. Oh, so what were the magic words again? It, it, wise, wise guys, guys, if you, you can, can hear, hear us, us, we, we would, would be real happy if you would give us a kiss. Wise guys, wise guys, wise guys, if you can hear us, we'd be real happy if you give us a kiss. If you can hear us, we'd be real happy if you give us a kiss. It makes sense. It's great. It sense. And that's how you uh, uh, resurrect the dead, apparently. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Bunch of wise guys. Bunch of wise guys. We just got a bunch of wise guys. They're like, oh, I'm back. I'm like, Hey, <laughs> see, yeah. <laughs> they will come back as wise guys. <laughs> I give a little kiss and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> All these skeletons are going to come over and give you a kiss. Yeah. One by one. one by well, one. fully oh. erect. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Tegan. Oh, okay. Establish your resolve. <laughs> I can't think of anything besides how your skeleton's trying to kiss me. <laughs> Let's see. I would like to see. I kind of want to see us meeting the dragon. Is that mm. is that an establishing resolve? I also don't understand the difference between the two. That'd be an establish. I think okay. maybe it's too early that we meet okay. the dragon. Mm. There'll be I think there would be layers of dungeon between yeah, us okay. and the dragon, the beast. Okay. It's maybe very we arrive hard. at the dungeon. Yeah. Are we gonna go in? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. We've yeah. arrived at the dungeon and we're trying to decide what's the next best course of action. Mm -hmm. Okay. How to go in? Okay. So. 
The important mm -hmm. thing to note is that the uh, magical entrance to the dungeon right. is a key location for you two mm. as yeah. well. So I think oh, yeah. you two should probably be involved in this scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're all here, but mm. yeah. I think heavily leaning this way as well. So, what is it about the entrance to the dungeon that you think interests Gork? Um, <coughs> that hurts from screaming. Hmm. Yes. Um, I think the. I'm absolutely drawing a blank. Uh, what else do I got? We've got a whole. I've got ba pustules, bracelets from accessorize. Well, this spell, well, even oh, yeah, Clarence has got it. It is actually between you two. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, you actually have some ownership over this yeah. spell. Mm. So you yeah. know that potentially you might know, but do you know anything about the charm? No. Oh. Well How then. does the charm work? Who does it apply yeah. to? Maybe you get you ask me for one of the books about the charm. Yeah. Okay. That and that's there. looped in with the entrance because the you. You've got to be this charming to enter? Oh yeah, or maybe. That's <laughs> You've got to be really charming. <laughs> You've got to be this charming to enter. Yeah. Mm, let's give okay. it a go. Okay. Let's see, what I go. Let's okay. see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know I stop when I choose to stop, not when the reins are pulled. Right. It, yeah. it gets to my head having this much. Clarence power. is his own horse. <laughs> All right, I'm going to unhook my rollerblades now. Mm -hmm. I'll put them to the side. I'll do the same. Slip my gladiator sandals on. <laughs> I'm going to rope them and I'm going to tie them up. I, I pick Moonshine mm. off my shoulder and gently plonk <laughs> them down. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Oh, you're most welcome, Moonshine. You're very comfortable up there. <laughs> It's not the first time I've heard that. Oh, why not? First time for me, either, <laughs> is it, friend? Uh, well, that's enough there. Hello, children. <laughs> Thanks for taking us this far, Moonshine. I know Pleasure Town is kind of your domain. Mm. Oh, very, <laughs> you're all very welcome to Pleasure Town. It's not like it's my first time here, but I do know that it's your first time here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you very old enough to be in Pleasure Town? Yeah. It, absolutely. Wait, definitely. how old are you? 37. Oh, that's all right then. Hang on a second. Are you sure you're 37? Oh, well, if you add them together, I suppose to just get close to the. Mm. Yes, no, that, that scans. Yeah. Just about. So, so we just walk right in, right? And then. And well, there then appears to be some to sort of magical barrier blocking the way to Pleasure Town. Oh. Bear with me one second. Give yes, Brenda some space. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that does feel like magic. Yeah, it's a magical entrance to the dungeon. Well, that's great because you know Crumple Steelskin. He's a really powerful wizard, so oh. he'll just he'll just get us through. Crumple oh. Steelskin oh. is going to pierce the magical entrance to Pleasure Town. I, I absolutely. Yes. I will absolutely be entering the magical entrance to Pe Pleasure Town now. <laughs> All I need to do. All right. Let's go and get. Okay. You feel like a man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's. She needs some help getting up the courage to go in. <laughs> no, I, I'm okay. Everyone gets shy once in a while. Crumbles. <laughs> listen, <laughs> oh, listen, it's <laughs> very stressful. <laughs> 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 No, we're 37, we're 37. Wait, there's an inscription on the door. It's, oh, yes. It's covered in some moss and hair that looks a bit like mine. We just oh. rub it away. Rub it. Furiously rub it. I wonder what it says. Uh, you must be this charming to enter. Oh, goodness oh. gracious. No wonder Crumple Silkskin was having such a struggle over it. <laughs> well, we're, we're plenty charming. Yeah, we're no. very charming. That's not to say you're not charming. I, I come from a charming family. We're known we as, we're known well, known well, as I mean, charming. That's charming. charming. Crumple Silkskin's charming. my blood. Mm. We're bound by blood. Yeah. Why Question. don't we all go up to the door one by one and say the most charming thing about ourselves to the door to see if we can get inside? Great idea. I love it. All right. Who's going to go first? Um, let's do Clarence. Well, I'm obviously the most charming, so we'll be getting in immediately. Don't tell us, mate. you got to tell the wall. Why don't you try first, Moonshine? It's a good idea, but... OK, then. Here I go. <coughs> <coughs> ah, ah. <coughs> I'm not this, no. My name is Moonshine. Have you ever met another person called Moonshine? 
No, that's because I'm unique, and that makes me very charming. The door opens. You've got oh. to harness your personal power. <laughs> okay. 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 This okay. Is doable. I feel like I have to take a negative thing, but I can't. It's not my scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Um. Hey there, wall. Uh, are, are you are you dividing two parts of a city? Because I'd like to see you Berlin my pants. Door opens further. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. Oh, great. Hello, Wall. It's lovely to see you here, finally. As you well know, I'm sort of the local councillor of Cinnamon Brow, and I've come to share with you all the wonderful things that we've got to offer, including beautifully big marrows. <laughs> opens further. I'll go next, I'll go next, I'll go next. Hello, all. I'm a handsome horse. My name is Clarence, and I might be the finest stallion you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh. Clarence, what are you playing at? <laughs> Has this guy never had a conversation before? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm usually so charming. Perhaps the magic of the wall is fighting against the magic of the special. It must be a cursed wall. Well, it's a cursed wall. It must be a cursed wall. Oh. Oh, it's got John. a reverse curse on it that makes things go the wrong way. What's that hiding in your beautiful mane? This. Yes. Just a, just a bauble I got from Claire's accessories. Yeah, it's his favourite bauble. He wears it every day. He never takes it I off. I got it at the same time I got my ears pierced. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not nice, mate. It's I'm lovely. Ju I'm just saying. It's charming. It looks like the enchanting, charming charm, or whatever it is. How do you Ooh. know about that? I'm 150 years old. <laughs> <laughs> that does mean she knows everything. That or does he knows mean everything. she knows everything. <laughs> charm is also quite old and famous, Clarence. The enchanting charm of enchantment. Well, I've got a book on it right over here. What does it say? How many books have you managed to carry with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm He's all got books. such big arms. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that the person who wears this will become enchanted, but not necessarily enchanting. Those are two separate concepts. Be careful. Wow. So, I've been cursed this entire time. Oh, Clarence. Clarence just shrinks back. No, Clarence. Gork. Yeah, Clarence? Open the door. I stand in front of the door. My four hairs in the breeze. A pustule explodes and oozes <laughs> down my face. Hi! <laughs> it opens. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to harness your personal power. power. I think Clarence just like kind of this is this is gonna be a moment for Clarence's mm. like yeah. sort of confidence. He's, he's gotta shed his he's gotta shed his uh paraphernalia. Mm. Find his inner self. Wow. Wow. Wow! I really feel like I should have had one of those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn now to establish a resolve after having been decimated <laughs> in the last scene. <laughs> what should we do with Clarence? I think I will resolve, um, and I'm open to ideas. Okay, so we're going in. Mm. I guess we're now we're at the entrance of the dungeon. We're going to go into the dungeon and find the dragon. But now this has become like a personal development quest for Clarence. Mm. So and while I we're here, we need to do something mm -hmm. with our situation. Yeah. So we could we could we could it. flash okay. back <laughs> somewhere into Clarence's past here mm. and see something different. Um, oh, that's nice. Maybe yeah. when he was a foal. Maybe when he was a foal. Mm. Maybe it's uh, maybe he was also um, adopted out. And he was like, he was raised by um, someone else, like in the same way that Gork is. So he grew mm. up not really like understanding his own. We could, well, we could also <laughs> see whether, what, where did Clarence's obsession with 
big, charming. enchanting and charming come from. Maybe he was owned by Prince Charming. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And he brought him up to be the most charming horse, but he got rid of him because he wasn't charming enough. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Clarence. Well, That's good. who would like to be my Prince Charming? I'll be Prince Charming. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do it. <coughs> Clarence is just trotting around the paddock. Oh, hi, Clarence. Hello, Charming. My prince. Neil. It's, it's awkward for me to kneel. You, you do know that. <laughs> because all the other horses can kneel. I can kneel. It's, I'm just saying it's awkward. <laughs> right. Um, Sorry, my prince. So we've got to go to that ball this afternoon. Um, I'm going to, we are going to get, obviously we'll be going together, but um, we have to go there in the, we're going to meet Cinderella, obviously. Um, I just have a couple of questions, yes. um, whether or not you qualify for this, uh, this role. Um, would you be comfortable uh, in the party of four horses pulling the uh, pulling the coach? Would you be comfortable um, staying behind? Staying behind? Yes. I would, well, I'd much prefer to be in the party pulling the coach as right. as, as as a member yeah. of your yeah. royal horses. Yeah. You know, it's it's more it feels more befitting of a royal horse to be pulling the coach rather than staying behind in the royal stables. If you catch my drift. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah I don't I'm want to. I don't want to. I don't. You know. I don't want to step on any toes. That's fine. I totally hear you. Totally hear you. Um, I do. It would be great if maybe for this one, um, you could just stay, stay behind. Um, so because uh, sorry, stay behind. There are four slots on on the carriage for yeah. horses. It's almost too many horses to pull such a small carriage. But there are four slots on the carriage, and you're saying I don't make the cut. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, who who is? We've got we've got Mark. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking guy, Mark. <laughs> we've got Martin. Martin. We've got Dorothy. If you tell me you're taking Dobbin, I am going to flip my shit. I'm sorry, but Shall Dobbin's we? cool. Dobbin's cool. He doesn't freak out, you know, when he sees hay. He's just like. <laughs> I don't freak out when I see hay. That's what blinkers are for. Charming. It's, it's just so embarrassing. The last time we went to a ball, you know what you did, okay? I couldn't help. The front of the garden was thronged with bushes. <laughs> <laughs> we only get hay when we stay in the stables. And you know, I have a thing about bushes. It's a terrible curse. We can't, we can't have you just pulling the whole carriage off course um, every time you see a laurel hedge. It's just not. And I have apologised. It's just not charming. And you I know what I mean? It's like. I'm here, I'm charming, I'm nice, I'm handsome, and then I've just got this horse who's like dragging the whole carriage off course. You know, it doesn't like fit my image. And that's not, you know, that's not because you're a bad guy. Like, I think you're a nice guy. I'm just, I'm just saying that like, you're not right in this role. I have okay? apologized over and over again for the mishap last year. And I've tried to control my impulses. I've tr tried to rein in my nature. And I will try again if you will give me the chance. I need this, Charming. The decision's already been made. I'm sorry, it's, it's over my head. It's over my Charming head. <laughs> over my Charming head. And Clarence just sadly clops back into the stable. Slowly munches on some hay. Also, I think it was like he's always been a talking horse. No, but this is what I mean. Like he's he's had he's the enchanting thing is to make him charming. And charming enchanting. And enchanting. It's, it's he's not, always been a talking horse. He's always been a talking horse. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. He's been trying yeah. to get more charming. <laughs> but it hasn't worked. Oh bless him. Oh, oh Clarence. Tragic backstory. It's perfect for D and D. Mm. Right, Rosie Nichols. We are establishing or resolving. I feel like this is a good one for you guys to to do a bit of this in mm. the front because mm. this is your prime location. Mm. What does this mean to you? Obviously, um, Moonshine, you likely have been here before if you have been to yeah, Pleasure Town. I guess so. Uh, but w what is I also feel what like is you, what is your connection to this location? Because we haven't really established this yet. Master and defeated foe turned into servant. Yeah, the servant thing is interesting. So maybe this is a chance. Maybe this location is a chance for you too. While we're all 
faffing about. I'm having a crisis of confidence. You guys are maybe playing char be charming with the door mm -hmm. for a yeah. bit. Yep. This is a chance for you to <laughs> this is a chance for you to, to have like a private conversation, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a, a a brief moment to discuss the marrows and, and what we're gonna do. Yeah. I think we're. I've, I've it's the primary get just to discuss how we're gonna deal with this dragon, but it's gonna get derailed and turn into Marrow Town. Yeah. Okay, let's see that. Okay. Which means you guys get to. Re which means you get to resolve as well because we've established if okay. that's. Okay. Okay. If you're happy. Yeah, with that. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Great. 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 I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> End of scene. <laughs> <laughs> Positive. <Yeah. laughs> it's negative if we carry on talking oh, about God. it. Um, well, no, if I'm you're going to mention Michael. Fear of a name only, you know, makes things worse. If you want to talk about Michael, perhaps it'll make things a little bit easier to come to terms with. You did very well this year. Oh, don't you patronise me. I'm not Rita. trying to patronise you, Moonshine. Oh, you're you're doing, fantastic. You're doing very well. Second place, second place, second fiddle. Hey, I was second place a couple of times. Couple not of often, times. but a couple of times. So I understand. And on this occasion, you were good. Not good enough, but good. And, and Michael was a, a remnant of that. And now being that he's burned to a crisp. I'm sorry, there's no final way to say it. You, you can't beat about the bush, the beautiful laurel bush. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence's ears prick up. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to say it like it is. Why have you brought me on this mission, Brenda? Because for all of our disagreements over the years, nobody knows Pleasure Town like you. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Or you trotting off and trotting back and, you know. Also, well, I'll not lie to you, Clarence's charm, the little charm around his neck, needs taken off. And I thought that perhaps you might know some bits and bobs around here that would help me, well, deal with that. Help you? Yes. I thought you was an all-powerful librarian, Rick. Oh, yeah, um, I, I certainly know a lot of things. I've done a lot of reading, Moonshine. I've just not been out in the world and used this to practical effect. Not a lot goes on in Cinnamon Brown till now, till a dragon comes down and burns your marrow to a Chris. I'm hearing a lot of this, <laughs> but I'm not seeing a lot of this. I'm sorry, Moonshine. Sorry for what, Moonshine? <laughs> I don't think Moonshine knows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course I feel I feel sorry for you with your devastating crispy marrow. Michael didn't deserve to go out that way. He deserved to go out as a feast. A lovely marrowy feast. Perhaps <laughs> turned into zucchetti. What's it called? Z zoodles. Courgette, that's the one. Courgette spaghetti squash. <laughs> Yes, I've never heard it sound so threatening. <laughs> well, Moonshine, given that I was the winner of this year's, you know, competition before it did get burned down, I just thought perhaps you could do me the favour, the respect from second place to Victor of coming along with me and dealing with this to make it so the next year's competition will be another fair one. Just like this year's, absolutely fair, straight down the line. You keep saying that and it's making me think that something squiffy went on when you <laughs> was growing that marrow. I don't know what you're talking about, couldn't possibly speak. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused about why I'm here. I know I came second in the competition, <laughs> but there's something I'm reading from you. When I was riding on your shoulders, Brenda, <laughs> I spat on your head and I read your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, what's that, what are you talking about, Moonshine? I know that 
How intrusive! Something magical going on with that spaghetti squash. It was a marrow. You just hear the sound of us beating each other yeah. with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Keep my turn. Okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you turn. Okay. Stop it! Stop it! Let's be erected! Erected stick! Now I know I've got the power to open this door. But it's not about me, Brenda. I want an apology. And I want it before we leave this dungeon. Apologize for what? I think you know. I, I don't know. And she looks over and sees you two with the stick. Don't stop you! over there! <laughs> Put your erection away! It take, uh, takes ages! Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like a sloth. <laughs> And see. Okay, so Richard's got magical spit. <laughs> <laughs> magical mind reading. I, so or, I, <laughs> or thinks they do. Yeah. I was in, I was in, I'm hearing a lot of this, <laughs> but I'm not seeing a lot of talking. Okay. I'm worse. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so, so, so I think Moonshine, I mean, in my mind, Moonshine is this like all powerful gnome. Yeah. Who's jo oh, his only goal in life is to have a beautiful garden and win the marrow competition, mm. but actually he's like a really powerful being. Mm. So like, he could just defeat this whole thing, but he just wants a quiet life, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yep. And like, this is a, this is one of those like friendship enemy things, yeah. you mm. know? But like, the fact that he's, this like hel a bit of healthy competition was obviously like a really positive thing in his life. <laughs> and and she's <laughs> undermined it because she's used magic and it's not meant to be about magic. Like I could uh. use magic and grow a marrow if I wanted to, but I want to win fair and square. <laughs> so I think that's what this is all about. Yeah. I see, Ooh. Mm. I see. But what does Brenda make of it? And what is Brenda's next scene? Well, I don't know. What I Maybe Brenda's next scene is with these two because she's seen them <laughs> bashing each other with this, the Staff mm. of Resurrection. Mm -hmm. Um, which she expressly told. <laughs> still or could, not we, or yeah. could we find out how Brenda came by the Staff of Resurrection? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Because then we get a bit more into your characters, like the moment that you were driven to cheat. So I think that's probably Ooh, quite important yeah. to Brenda, okay, right? Yes. So like mm. finding the staff, your marrow's failing in the competition, because there was obviously probably been a period of time where you were losing. Mm. Let's get into that a little bit, maybe. So I think Brenda, um, was so sad to have been called out and misunderstanding the rules of the competition. She thought it was a competition for the biggest vegetable. Yes. Mm. In fact, it was just for the biggest marrow. So she's spent all year cultivating and growing this squash that <laughs> <laughs> Moonshine has seen her tending to over because they're neighbors. They, mm -hmm. they, you know, whatever. They have had conversations over the laurel uh, bushes. Um, and now she feels sad, embarrassed, you know, betrayed, upset. So she goes home, has a cry, and then um, I think she takes herself on a little holiday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where she meets a vendor of magical artifacts. Ooh. Ooh so okay. we're sort of visiting a, a magic shop. In, in, yeah, or a stall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a market. Why not? That one. Well, one of those people driving up and down the beach selling, uh, yeah, <laughs> selling she fruit, but yeah. she's selling magical art. She awesome sat on the beach, <laughs> yeah. nursing her wounds, having a Shirley Valentine moment, and then As along a comes a pickup truck. Right? Yeah. <laughs> magical <laughs> artifact. Yeah. Magical <laughs> artifact. <laughs> All right, magical perfect. Artifact. That's the scene. Uh, so, is that resolving how? That would we would resolve that because you've established that. But Great. I did heavily <laughs> steer that, so I'm happy for it to be either way. Uh, let's go with let's go with establishing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to allow you guys to resolve it. Who would you like to be the magical vendor? Uh, <laughs> Tegan, be the magical vendor, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it. <laughs> Great. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Magical artifacts! <laughs> Anyone for an artifact? Excuse magical, me. yes! I'm trying to have a nice relaxing time on this beach. You don't need to shout it in my ear. I'm sorry, young lady. I was born without the ability to control the volume of my voice. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have an artifact for that, or else I would correct 
date. Well, I bet you what that sounds like a serious affliction, and thank you so kindly for calling me young. Oh, well, you're so beautiful. Look at you, your skin <laughs> aglow under this blazing sun. Do you really think so? I've, I've been on holiday for about a week or so now. I oh, it shows. It shows. Oh, don't shout about it. Are you sure you don't look. want a gander? Beautiful woman like you walking around without a magical artifact. It seems like a bit of a waste. <laughs> <laughs> If you ah. shout too loudly about how beautiful I am, everyone will start looking. Oh, I think they've been it. looking for a while, oh. love. You're so beautiful. He's just, just screaming out for a magical artifact. Ah. <laughs> oh, go on, then. What have you got? Let's have a look at your Let wares. me pop the top. Scoop-boom, boom, boom, scoom. Well, that took a while, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's an older model. All right, let me just reach in here. See what I got for you. I've got an iguana. He spits prose poems. No, all right, I'll well, just stick him back in there. Uh, I've no, no need for prose poems. On no, this no one does nowadays. I tell you what, prose poetry, it's a dead art. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... Oh, it's just a half eaten ham sandwich. That's fine. Oh, well, I was going to reach That little orb. There's this? a little orb here. It's, it's marble and, and green. Oh, you. It's marble orb. Yeah, that one. Oh, my pretty lady. <laughs> I don't think you know what it is that you've been seeing in this old wombat. <laughs> what I've been seeing in the orb. I haven't seen anything much, but will I? Well, I mean. <laughs> I mean, have a gaze. <laughs> what is it you see? Tell me what them beautiful sparklers are spying <laughs> around depths of the orb. <laughs> what an exotic accent you've got. <laughs> what brings it up from around the United Kingdom? <laughs> it doesn't have a specific region. <laughs> it's coastal, but all the way around. It's my coastal, like me. If you catch my dream. What <laughs> <laughs> sort of tune? Um, well, I see, as I look deep inside this orb, what I'm seeing is a... A romantic candlelit dinner and uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and, uh, perhaps a, a a night of dancing under the moonlight. But I couldn't possibly oh, say that. Oh, oh, <laughs> Pop that back in. Do you know what? What? Gazing into your eyes as I am right now, mm. looking at the sun catching your sparkly bosom. I got just the <laughs> treat for you. Sparkly bosom. Please you put sunscreen me. on <laughs> and it's kind of glistening and glinting because of the sweat and the ocean water. Well, you know what they say, I've got to, you've got to take care of your... Of your you do. Your All right, stomach. love. I like to generously reapply now. I've yeah. got just the thing for you. Let me just... Goodness me. Thunk. What a beautiful staff. Some would call it an erection. I don't. <laughs> it is. It's a staff of resurrection, which almost rhymes. The it's staff of <laughs> resurrection. Right, it's got ten charges in it. I and read it, about it in a book. Yeah, and ten seems like a small number. But don't worry, because any time there's a blue moon, which is once every three years, <laughs> you can just recharge oh. it. And what a memory you've got. <laughs> yeah. All of these wares that you picked up along the way. Well, Ma, I've been doing this for some years, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the craggly, wizened face you've got, which the eyes are still young. Oh, thank you. So if you've got your eyes on this here staff of insurrect resurrection. <laughs> insurrection. <laughs> the staff of resurrection, yeah. How, how much do you think it might be? Well, I think it's pretty clear at this point it's going to cost you one date. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I can stretch to that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> see. Incredible. Wow. That was amazing. That was incredible. That was fantastic. Did you get a result there? No, but that's, well, that's a positive. I mean, that's definitely that's a positive. positive. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going on a date with a magical... <laughs> with a terrifying, with, shouty, yeah. magical with artifact. The <laughs> I'm having a good time! <laughs> Oh with the single God. greatest character in <laughs> fiction. That's <Yeah>. so <laughs> funny. Oh my God. Wow. Driven to, driven to your date in a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so good. Sparkling oh. bosom. <laughs> right. Um, great name for a band. Mm. Uh, Sullivan, mm. it's your final scene in the game. I think I will establish, and I'm thinking that we hatch a plan to try and help you out mm. uh, and try and build up your confidence. So we're going to employ the uh, army of the undead, the wise guys, yeah. to come along and really boost your confidence. Oh. Really boost how my confidence. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. yeah because yeah. we got destruction from all of the, the barbed phrases. Yeah. And now we're going to yeah. have confidence boosting from skeletons. Yeah. Oh. So, so nice. if you two can play the, the wise very, guys, yeah, you when can they, the they eventually wise come guys. in. Yeah. 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 Okay, so me and, me, me and Gork will be chatting. <gasps> That's my rising end. Uh, I have a plan to help dear old Clarence through the wall. But we just need to build his confidence. Hey, he's fine. He's plenty charming. But how do we build his confidence? We're teenagers. What do we know about that? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. But, but, but my plan is this, OK? What if we get the army of the undead wise guys to come along and, and, and boost his confidence? Maybe even give him a kiss. So instead of kissing us, we get an entire army of wise guys skeleton boners to kiss Clarence. Exactly, exactly. These, 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 it's, these rock hard wise guys are gonna come over and they're gonna, they're gonna make Clarence feel like a million bucks. Yeah. It's gonna be great. This will definitely make up for losing all of his objects in the pit of no return. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna be the best brother ever. Hooray. The, okay, yay. should we go and call them over? Yeah. Wise, wise guys. Uh, guys. Wise guys! Oh, hey there, kids, what's going on? Nice uh, to see you, see? <laughs> wise guys. Oh, <laughs> 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 what's it? No, leave us be. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing, Ashie? What do you got for us? What do you, what's what do you going want on? us to say? What's going on? What's going on? What's Our going on? first commandment to you is to build up the, the, the count for confidence of this horse, Clarence, over here. Oh, we got a sad little horse over here? Yeah, and just the horse, say, the, big, the guy with the long face? See, oh, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. I don't even mean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What you need to do is, is you, need to, you need to tell him how charming he is. It's really important that he is seen as enchanting and not enchanted. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the difference between the two? It's a subtle distinction, but I think I got gotcha. you. Great. Yeah. All right. If you can walk over and- After all, we're very wise. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we're the wise guys. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are. Give us a kiss. <laughs> okay, good luck, wise guys. I believe in you. Thank you very much. Well, hey there. over here watching. Mm -hmm. Hey there, pretty pony. What are you up to today? How's it going? How's it going there, see? Despairing at the state of the world. Ah, don't despair uh, at the state of the world. We're the wise guys, and we brought you some gifts. Oh, we got gifts. We got gifts for you up here, up here, and down here, and in here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? Here's a gift of the gap, see? You got a lot of things to say, don't you? I have... I thought I did. But no one was taking them. Wow, I find that so I fascinating, thought. the insight. I feel like... Are you even listening to what I'm saying? You're oh, yeah, we, we got you. We got you. What's your name? What did I just say? What? What did I just what say? What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I, I just say? say? Before what did I say before that? That's what you just said. I've been listening to you the whole time. What's your name, son? Clarence. 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 What a fantastic, what an enchanted name. Horse. It's so lovely to meet you, Philip. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you too. Why the long face, Clarence? I'm a horse. Well, that makes sense. And I'm miserable. Oh, that's a I shame. Have a deep despair. I have a pit of no return inside of me. Oh well, that's gotta be that's gotta be awful gotta heavy be in hard. there. Gotta be hard. Why don't you uh, tell us uh, tell us how you feel? Cursed. I feel cursed. I thought I was enchanted. I thought I was enchanting. But I'm not. I'm just a talking horse. Oh boy. Talking horse, see? Talking horse has got a lot to say for itself. You don't see many of those around. Hey, that's a good point. Have you ever met a talking horse? I was raised by talking horses, so... Some. Some, Apart from but those not guys? many. <laughs> Apart from those guys. Not in our town, I guess. Well, let me tell you. It's important to be one of a kind. And in that town, if you're the only one who can talk, well, that says something. Yeah, you need Clarence. How's that make you feel inside? Like the most unique failure that there ever was. And hey. Or ever will be. 
Well, let's try and turn that frown upside down. If you have seen a lot of talking horses, man, you've had a lot of things to say. You could take it on the road. I see bright lights in your future. Clarence, the talking horse with the stories of the talking horses. Tell us How a story, like Clarence. That, Clarence? <laughs> there once was a horse <coughs> who found a magical amulet that he thought would make him enchanting. I think that might have been a haiku, Clarence. Oh. oh. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Clarence. And they just crumble into dust. <laughs> 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 just a pile of bones on the floor. <laughs> Clarence's negativity undoes the, the curse yeah. of the, yeah. uh, the wise guy curse. <laughs> yeah, two of our best wise guys are gone. Oh. Well, it's all right. We've got loads of others. It's okay. Yeah, we've got a whole army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Clarence. <laughs> 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 last time I tried to help him. <laughs> right. Tegan. Every time it gets to me, I've been so tuned into everyone else's stories, I forget to have thought of something interesting of myself. Um, uh, we still have to. Is it time? <laughs> so I think we can, yeah, we can start to move through yeah, the dungeon okay. now. <laughs> so we've got to. There's probably some. Because we've got four more scenes. Yeah. yeah, so we've got to. This, this feels like the climactic. Yeah. Fighting the dragon. Fighting the dragon, final scene, resolving the story in the bar. Mm -hmm. But then we've got some layers of the dungeon to move through and what some do we do story. So, how do we get you through this? So, we start to weave these in as we go. Kay. So, we've got to still uh, have a magnificent self destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and something precious to be on fire. Something precious has to be so on fire. So, how do we get you through the door? How do we? Well, we can all go through the door. I think the door's mm -hmm. opened. I just couldn't open it myself. Yeah, mm. we've okay. I think we've managed to get it. I think that I think the uh, my <laughs> my theory of it was that the door was magically opening and closing. We were ch testing everyone's yeah. charming. Oh, I thought it was yeah. like yeah. in the never-ending story when you have the oracle, and if you're not brave enough, mm. like you have to go through. I by saw one. that because then yeah, you, you went over thing. and you did. You said hi, and, mm -hmm. and your voice broke, and then the door opened. The door and opened. It was charming. bigger than it ever yeah. had yeah. possibly. Oh, I see. It. <laughs> so we are all able to. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was so charming. The sheer power of your charm. Yeah, which is just like in real life. So yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, art mirrors life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, we're first entering. So we're now further into the dungeon. Into yeah. the dungeon of Pleasure Town, and and okay, so that's establishing. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna encounter? In it? Well, I suppose you'll just. Yeah, it's we have our first encounter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. With do we want to decide with oh, yeah. who or? Well, we're all there. <laughs> we're all there. But then we can add in yeah, some flavour. It could be a trap. Yeah. Could be an enemy. Yeah, could be a could big be spider. Could be something to talk. Well, yeah. we need magnificent self-destruction yeah. and also something precious is on fire. I think so I've got this covered. Don't I, I, I kind of mm. think you yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. there's a rebirth in there for mm. Clarence. Mm. Though. Okay, let's say that we're leading the way because we insist that this is our quest, mm -hmm. um, and we've got the army is behind you guys, and then you're mm -hmm. kind of in the middle, so you're you're a bit protected, mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're get ready to face this dragon. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> So uh, are we all there? We're all yeah, there. We're all yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah, we're with the army. Yeah. <coughs> I'm guys. Oh. oh man! This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, Look at the neat. stalagmites and stalactites. I love them. Do you know how you remember which is a stalagmite and which is a stalactite? How how? Because a stalactite has a T just like that, so the stalactites hang from the top, and the stalagmites. Do you pay attention to geography? I'd always heard that yeah, ha t t tights hang down on a washing line. Stalactites. That makes That's how as much we sense. got taught it in school. I was in the same class. <laughs> 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 Another pustule <I> erupts. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Education's great. <laughs> it's so great. Speaking of education, have you read anything about this cave while you've been reading all my books? Yes, I've been reading a lot about Pleasure Town and the way to it and how to get out of it and then back in and then back out again. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, according to this, um, the cave has terrible curses, traps, and giant spiders. Beware, if you don't uh, uh, properly prepare for all of these things, you will surely die. Well, sounds fabulous, doesn't it? You guys mm -hmm. hear sort of a scuttling across oh, the ceiling. What, what was that? Oh, 
that'll be one of the giant spiders, I think. Oh! Well, fortunately, we are properly prepared for such an extreme because we brought along Moonshine, who's been here before. Who gets in all the nooks and crannies, that's Ooh. right! Where the spiders live and you can go and kill the spider queen. Yeah. Oh, no, what? Well, shall I tell you what I normally do? Yes. yes. What's uh, normal? Do you, do you see that little hole? Yes. yes. I normally just go through there. But we're too big. One of us is a horse. That's not my problem. Why don't you, Moonshine? Go right through that hole and let us know if it's clear on the other side. And if it is, I'll use some magic to widen the hole <gasps> so that we can get through. Oh, widen the hole. Mm -hmm. After you, Moonshine. All oh, right. It scuttily gets louder. Be quick about it. I do hate spiders, especially giant ones. Don't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> Like you see this huge shape begin to descend on a little web from the ceiling while Moonshine's taking Moonshine. ages going through this. Moonshine! Moonshine. 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 I don't like This creature is crawling rushed. across the floor, rearing up on its hind legs. Moonshine! It's clear! Wide in the hole! She sort of does this for a minute and then she goes, and this time you'll be bigger! <laughs> and the whole wide. Go 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 go, 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 go! I wish go. I brought those rollerblades! <laughs> we should have done! I feel so stupid now! Come on, Clarence, it's time for you as well. We're not leaving you behind. Everyone's trying to force me through. Clarence is just trapped in the. You're for gonna have to push your harder. Fun and be your vibes. Yeah, really yeah. your vibes. Come on, we're going to have to push him. Oh. This is, in a day of demeaning things, the most demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> the spider's getting a bit closer now, come on. Where is moving or lose it, you jerk! <laughs> I'm not a jerk! So the spider comes up and uh, Clarence like looks over his shoulder and just starts talking to the spider. <laughs> and the spider maybe starts like... Yeah. Oh, I was like, Clarence is so Of dull, course, so yeah. I would be the one to be dying like this on this day. The despair in me is so great, I should have seen this coming. Not enchanted, but cursed. Chewed to death by a giant spider. Even the spider is leaving Clarence. Spider's ears stop reading. You are <laughs> just nothing if not it's Shaking uncontrollably, it's like... Oh, Clarence. How low they have sunk. Clarence, <laughs> you've done it. You blew up the spider <laughs> all by your boring self. Wow, you're such a buzzkill something <laughs> self-destructed rather than speak to you for another moment. That's a special kind of magic, Clarence. You're Only you can achieve that. You're a whole new level of jerk. You're totally unique. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could talk myself to death. And then, uh, <laughs> 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 Moonshine gets through. on top of Clarence and just puts a nose bag on him. <laughs> <laughs> just to shut him up. We, we, we <laughs> push, <laughs> push Clarence <laughs> through. <laughs> and then Brenda also gets through the hole and, uh, and releases the spell and it closes back to yeah. a normal sized hole. Brilliant. Well, nice. we made it. Yeah, we did it. Nice. <laughs> Maybe Clarence doesn't want to be an enchanted horse. He just wants to be a horse. He just wants to know himself. He literally just wants to be a horse. He yeah. <laughs> just wants to be a horse. <laughs> Look at this sad yeah. state of affairs. <laughs> yeah, you both. Um, so I think I will establish, I think we need a scene mm -hmm. to resolve our family conflict. Mm, good chat. Um, and maybe have a learning experience for Clarence in this moment. Uh, so maybe we're travelling through another layer of the dungeon. Yeah. And there's just a quiet moment mm -hmm. where you and I can talk. Nice. Okay. <sighs> another pustule. How did you do it? Do what? Open the door. I just said, hello. But why did that work and me and all my magnificence, my supreme stallionhood couldn't open it? I'm meant to be one of the most charming 
delightful creatures in the land. And yet you, unbrushed hair, pustules bleeding, merely said hi and the door sprung open. Clarence, I've been telling you this whole time, man, you put so much pressure on yourself and me and everyone else to live up to these insanely high expectations. That's how I was raised. I was, I was raised in the stables of Prince Charming. Yeah. Do you know what kind of a role model to live up to that is? The kind of shadow that hangs over you. Clarence, Prince Charming was an even bigger jerk than you. And that's saying something, okay? Look, maybe it's time that you just forget about what you think you're supposed to be or supposed to do and just be yourself. Look, we're all growing, we're all changing, we're all imperfect. <coughs> I'm only halfway through puberty. I look disgusting and I'm okay with that. You really I, are too okay with that. <laughs> I love me for me. And that's why the door is sprung open. You can't be enchanting or charming or whatever it is that you want to be until you really love yourself. You're right. I have been so focused on the idea of other people loving me for my charms, for being enchanting, for all the things I learned under the tutelage of Prince Charming. Noted jerk, Prince Charming. <laughs> but maybe those aren't me. Maybe I'm not an enchanted horse. Maybe I'm not just a talking horse. Maybe I could just be happy to just be Clarence. I think just Clarence is a pretty good place to start. And did you know, for what it's worth, I think Gork is a pretty good place to start. <laughs> Clarence puts a full hoof round. <laughs> Thanks, man. I do want that Tina Turner CD back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Lovely. Very nice. Rosie. Rosie Nix. Well, <laughs> only negative outcomes left. Yep. Yeah, so, so we have to take them. Oh. So are we killing this dragon or okay. not? Yeah, <laughs> we're, just, we're just about to get to the dragon. Um, I will, well, I'll resolve, like, mm -hmm. because we know what the resolution is going to be, so we can just establish mm -hmm. together, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, so I'm this very snuffly, everybody. Sorry about this. <laughs> so you were misting up after that emotional. Yes. Oh, I was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really. Wanted so to we could. Cool. Yeah. So we could here uh, lean towards, start to lean towards the finale here. If mm. there, if there is any, this might be also be a good chance to have like one final flashback, uh, mm. one final something about the core of Moonshine's character here. Uh, and what drives them before we all journey mm. into the dragon's chamber at mm. the center of this dungeon. Well, maybe we could do something about this, something precious is on fire. Mm. Maybe, yeah. maybe every, like everything that um, Moonshine tries to do ends up being crispy. <laughs> 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 or, unless we save that for when there's a dragon who can set things on fire. Yeah. Mm. Have we done magnificent self-destruction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we I've got, I've got a, I've got an idea for that. Got an so. idea. Great. Okay. Well, then maybe that. Yeah, maybe that. Or have we fully established this? The master and servant. Thing. Yeah. I think we have. Yeah. I think okay, like I think part of the reason Moonshine has been has brought been along, along here great. is probably great. this yeah. bit. Maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're burning things. Maybe, maybe we're, we're getting ready to beat the... Yeah, because one thing we could maybe. do is see just how powerful Moonshine <gasps> is yeah. before maybe. we head into the final yeah. confrontation. Maybe find out about the staff, and that is the thing that could be... Oh, we need to wrap that up. Oh. So yeah. if you yeah. find out about the staff, then... Uh -huh. then yeah. And that is precious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not good that we've only got a negative outcome for fighting the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> but the negative outcome could be we still kill the dragon, but there are consequences. We, yeah. end, we end up with Brian. Yeah. So we know at the very least we all make it out. Yeah, Brian's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> actually the Dark Lord. Mm. Um, okay, 
So I'm finding out about the staff, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or did you make the staff? How old is Moonshine? So maybe it's supposed to be a scene with you then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. can discuss magic because you've got yeah. this idea that I'm a real magician. Yeah. So let's yeah, let's We're do that. Let's do that. Yeah, so if you need to bring anybody, yeah, yeah. well, we yeah. could we could flash back here and jump. Yeah, yeah. we could jump back to a. I think it's on. I think no, it's on. I think it's on the way. I think it's on the way. I think they're. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. we're traveling and we're and you come over and talk to yeah. me. Hey, hey, moonshine. What can I do for you, young squire? Well, I, I want to be a, 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 a powerful wizard, you see, and um, I overheard you earlier saying that you you spit on the head of Brenda and read her thoughts. Well, I might have said that. I might have not said that. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what do you want to know, young squire? Well, I, I'd like to learn under your tutelage, to be honest. I mean, I, I've done some pretty good magic already. I mean, I've used this um, resurrecting staff to... I mean, um, sorry, uh, this... Um, Where did you <laughs> get that? Uh, it's just... Uh, it's, it's just, I found it... It's in, Bre in, Bre in Brenda's Bre 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 house. And it was in the magical stuff. She used it nine times. <laughs> 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 he just came. <laughs> <laughs> but now. Really slow <laughs> turn. Brenda. I've got oh, there you a, are, Moonshine. a little question for you there, Brenda. A question? Go on then, Do why not? Do you recognise this? <laughs> Crumples your skin, you naughty apprentice. I, I couldn't resist. It, it, it allowed me to summon an army of undead wise guys. <laughs> Are you telling me that you've used the staff of resurrection? Oh, yes. <laughs> when there was only <laughs> one charge left in it. Yes, but look at how many people it, 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 it resurrected. Bloody hell! Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you resurrected all of these wise guys? I did. It's our own personal army. They'll do anything for us. You said the magic words. I did. Which what, were... Which were? <laughs> Wise, Wise guys, guys, if you can hear us, we, we would be really, really happy, happy if you gave us a kiss. kiss. And you, you said all of those words and you brought all these wise guys back. I did. Oh, I did. Hold on. That's not the point, <laughs> Brenda. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a little question about how many uses the staff had left. I don't, I don't know the time, Moonshine. Why, I was told a minute ago <laughs> that there, there was there. just one use left on the staff. But I know for a magical fact <laughs> <laughs> that after a blue moon, which comes once every three years, that there are ten uses of the erection stuff. <laughs> so I would like to know, Brenda, what have the other nine uses been used for? Well, you see, the thing is, Moonshine. Yeah. I did find the 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 stone back in a lovely holiday that I had when I used it. Uh, I, when I, met, I met a fabulous vendor and he, well, he, he gave me the night of my life. <laughs> Was his uh, name Starshine? Why, yes, I suppose it was, although he's, he only called himself Starzy. Oh dear, oh dear. And, and when I got it, there were, well, there were but seven left on the resurrection staff. And s and so, I just wanted to know how it was going to be used. And I was so upset, you see, to have lost my magical night with Starzy. And, and I never heard from him again. And well, my marrows kept dying, Moonshine. And 
I just wanted to know if maybe I used it a few times, Starzy would come back. Brenda. Starzy never comes back. <laughs> what are you talking about, Moonshine? How would you know? <laughs> How do you think I know? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Starzy was the love of my life. No. He gave me that erection start <laughs> to grow my first marrow. No wonder they've been so beautiful all these years, Oh, Moonshine. don't you compliment me, Brenda. I might start respecting you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's negative. <laughs> <laughs> Unrequited love. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and like the, the, this lover's name shares a name with the East German secret police yeah. of the Stasi. Uh, uh, yeah. Stasi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my history well enough. Nope. <laughs> Stasi and his best brother Gestapo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me. Gestapo. <laughs> hey, it's me, Gestapo! <laughs> uh, right, we are on to the final scene. Dan, it is yours to establish a resolve, but well, I think we know where we're going. We know for but a fact. This negative outcome is for you specifically. Oh. So, how does this scene? negatively impact Brenda. Mm. That is what we need to think about. As in, can we, do we need to find it out as we do As it? we go, as yeah. We go. Okay, well, I think this is our moment to try and uh, destroy the dragon in the name of the beautiful village of Cinnamon Brow that she has been the parish leader, the council leader for, the representative for. For many years, she's organised all the fates. It's her sort of pride and joy. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a question of, is this her final act? Does it not go well and they decide they need, they need new mm. management? Mm. Or, we know she's alive. <laughs> They're all alive. How does it end badly? Maybe she has to accept that she's not allowed to enter the country show <sighs> anymore. That oh. would crush Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. That would. She's banned for life, for yeah. cheating. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, she has to admit that she's been cheating. Mm. Right, well, <laughs> let's get into it, shall we? Okay. So I assume the party mm -hmm. moves through the dungeon. Oh, we've, been, we've been going deeper. through. We've been moving through. Yeah. This lovely moment happened in yeah. transit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. as did all of this, which I think brought us to a stop outside this giant cave. And inside, maybe interrupting our conversation before, we have a chance to really heal any wounds that might have been that have now been made gaping by the revelation of Starshine's staff. We hear a rumble, and it's time to deal with the dragon. Men, assemble! Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so right. Well, focus, everybody, on the task at hand. We must do this to save Cinnamon Brown. You just hear whooshing and the, the, the beat of wings from behind this cave door and then the muttering of like, ooh, you fucking pricks. <laughs> ooh, you fucking pricks. <laughs> that the voice of, That's the voice of the dragon. <laughs> the barb words, yeah. the barb words. Barb words. <laughs> I've seen the barb words, yeah. <laughs> now, everybody, let's put our heads together here. Whatever the dragon says, don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say some horrible things. Some barbed things. Some barbed things. I know you can deal with it. Yeah. I know you can deal with it. I know you can deal with <laughs> and it. And I know you can deal with it too, Moonshine. Clarence. Mate. Yes. You gotta look into that big horse's heart of yours and don't take it personally. Don't All right? Take it. Personally. All together now. Don't, Don't take, take it, it personally. personally. Clarence, you've been through so much. You're covered in scars, battle scars that prove your worth. You're right. Tell me what you've got to harness, Martin, the pun. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> My self-worth. Your personal power. My personal power. 
You're a bore, Clarence. Oh no! Don't listen to him. No. Don't listen to him. You're a bore, Clarence. <laughs> You're such a fucking prick. Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I will command the army of the dead to uh, march forth. But I, I think, I think, yeah. and we can discuss this. They just instantly wiped out. Yeah. 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 You just hear, you just hear. Oh, you're all see, fucking dead, and no one remembers see, you. See, 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 see. Oh no, they're all crispy. Oh, no, what am I doing? Where are the doughies? Something precious is on fire. Oh, guys! I'm going to throw the staff at the dragon as well. I think, and then that could also be on fire. Yeah, the staff just burns up in mid-air and like gold and the gems begin to drip to the floor and oh, melt through goodness. the floor. That was one of my most powerful items, both <laughs> magically and also emotionally. <laughs> you just hear these big wing beats in the other room. It says, come forward then and face your foe. It what sounds like a big chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this chihuahua at all. I don't like it either, Grandma. <laughs> it's going to be much bigger than a chihuahua. You should know that by now. I'm sorry to snap. No, they're little. Yeah, come, come back. back. Come they're back. Just little come back. Little chihuahua. Back. Oh, giant, <laughs> massive, huge, uh, orchestral. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very good singer. <laughs> <laughs> So, like a big chihuahua? Like a, he's crossed with maybe like a Pekingese? Yeah. Think about a chihuahua. Yeah. Always. Think about the biggest animal you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. A, a, a bigger chihuahua? No. A corgi. Yeah. Okay, let's add them together. Like a double decker. It's bigger than that. <laughs> wow! Wow! Cl Imagine Clarence. Yep. Oh, of course, Clarence is right He's here. He's right there. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You didn't think of Clarence the whole time. Don't yeah. take, take it, it personally. personally. I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> you keep talking about me. But also, you know, bigger than Clarence. I lost my accent there for a second, but that's fine. <laughs> I was doing the other accent, so it's fine. <laughs> let's, let's just go in and find out, OK? Let's get it over with. <sighs> okay, so I think Moonshine runs forward, like knocks open the door, and the dragon is just there. Like looming. Looming. Mm. Ah. <gasps> the two foot gnome <laughs> with the one and a half foot hat. <laughs> Should that be the half foot gnome with the one and a half foot hat? Oh, it and burns! And a dead meadow! <laughs> it burns! <laughs> I'll come in behind Moonshine and sort of like. There, there, don't worry, don't worry. Ah, oh, and the cheat! The cheat at the county fair! What are you talking about? Someone who can't even grow a marrow to save their lives! What are you talking about? <laughs> Not you and your slam poetry again! <laughs> <laughs> and who's this? Oh, hello! But a silly little boy who held back in school, who never learned to be a proper magician. No, I'm a power wizard! No, you're a silly little boy with a Top Gear annual. Don't listen to your <laughs> Top Gear annual! Oh, no! <laughs> but a spotty little outcast. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find your family, I suppose. I've got all the family I need ah, right here. Yes. And the worst of them all, the most boring horse in all of the <laughs> land. Look at him and weep, for he is so Boring. <laughs> but Clarence has still got his nose bag on. Clarence has still so got his nose bag on. He's just going to stand there. Clarence is getting pissed. Clarence is like... <laughs> trying to hold it in as the sky goes... <laughs> Don't take it personally, Clarence. <laughs> you can do it, Clarence. <laughs> just <laughs> Clarence is good enough, remember? And Clarence is like... <laughs> Clarence, just Clarence is, is, is enough. good enough. Clarence Stop is thinking. Is enough. <laughs> about Clarence other people's perception of you and say the things that Clarence needs to say. Clarence shakes off the feed bag and Clarence goes, Listen here, you prick! I have spent my life wondering what people would think of me and I don't care anymore because my name is Clarence the regular talking horse and I know you to be the biggest Fucking prick in all of the land, and I can say that because I know Prince Charming personally. You piece of shit! 
and the dragon's just like, yeah. <laughs> 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 How could you? How could you say that? To me? It's all right, dragon. Don't take it personally. And he's shrinking. And <laughs> yeah. shrinking. Yeah, he's shrinking. 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 It's ah! I have seen this iguana. Yes! Oh. These wings are the sellotape, Tom! <laughs> Hang on a second. Do you have any prose poetry you want to share with the group? Not right now, I'm feeling very shy. Uh -huh. Well, whenever you're ready, maybe save those barbed words for somebody else. That's definitely we'll put for you, because you're going to have to listen to prose poetry at some point. You've got a pet iguana. And I guess Clarence, having caused this outburst, the charm bracelet just nice. snaps oh, off. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. And he stomps on it with a big, stomps on it. big hat on the hoof. <laughs> oh, there's another pin <laughs> in the corner! <laughs> and then you Let's see all your things okay. in there. No, yeah, yeah, there you there see there. a hair pile over there in the corner, a hairbrush. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's the other end! Yeah. 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 So we can see yeah. yeah. all the other bits back in. <laughs> We'll pick these up when we get home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's brilliant. And that ends uh, that scene. Let's flash back to the tavern and hear to Brian <laughs> and see what he makes of that tale. And that's our very concise story. Well, bloody hell. I mean, that really was a lot to take in on my first visit here to Cinnamon Bro. And all I was having was an appointment with a local council about... What I had heard was some nefarious purposes, some nefarious goings on in the vegetable growing competition. Oh. Oh. And I'm just doing that thing that horses do where they just pull the ground <laughs> awkwardly. <laughs> I'm afraid to say as the member of, as, as the leader in fact of the uh, invigilators for the vegetable growing council of this realm, I'm afraid to say I'll have to shut down your vegetable growing competition is going <gasps> to show. No. no. Unless you, Brenda, vow to never enter again. What do you mean? But vegetable growing's all I have. No, Brenda, you can't do it. Think of the town, Brenda. Brenda, the town. Think of cinnamon brow. <laughs> the greater good, Brenda. The greater good. Moonshine. I'm so sorry for betraying the trust. All these years we've grown vegetables side by side and I just, I got so jealous, you see, I wanted to take over. So, now I see what really matters and that's the town. I'll never enter again. Right, oh well, you capitulated quite quickly. Didn't <laughs> you? <laughs> well, I suppose I shall allow your vegetable growing competition to continue. And uh, I'll settle up my tab here and uh, I'll, I'll be on my way. Thank you all for the story. As he's going, we're like, well, what do you think of the killing the dragon thing? And the, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean, well done. It's quite standard, really. Dragons are very easy to take down. You just have to confront them with their own sense of self. Right. Everybody knows that. Uh -huh. We thought you were a film producer. <laughs> 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 no. And then he leaves. Brian just goes. <laughs> 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 Wow. What an ending, what an ending. Well done, we thought you were a film producer. <laughs> <laughs> never brought up once. It never brought up once that we thought you were a film producer. <laughs> okay. This was yours originally, I believe. Yeah, it was, it was. This was yours. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add up the totals on these cards. Um, again, same rules apply. So if you add up all of your red ones and all of your blue ones and then subtract the highest amount from the lowest amount and then tell me the color and the total. So for me, it is a blue nine. I think uh, I've got one of yours, actually. Me? Yeah, because I should have had a blue. You do have a blue. Who's that? Oh, no, sorry, I mean, no, I should have had, I had nine originally, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Where, no, you were eight. Oh, no, I had you were eight. eight. You were eight. Yeah. I had nine. I've got um, uh, 11 red. I've got six blue. I've got five blue. 
Okay, so we're going to go around again and say that so I can remember. Oh. Blue nine. Blue me. nine. So you get this. That's Thank for you. you. Oh, blue five. Blue five. Blue Thank five. You. I have uh, red five. I've got red 11. Red 11. <laughs> oh dear, it's not gone well for moonshine. Uh, and I have six blue. Six blue. So, oh, everyone gets their own card. Have a little read of them. And mm -hmm. then what we'll do is one last little epilogue scene <laughs> to draw everyone's story to a close. Mm. Uh, we'll read these first as well, and then we can. Yeah. Uh, so, mine yes. says, um, <laughs> mine says, unfortunate. It's true, I've made some mistakes, perhaps some very serious ones. But in the end, here I am, more or less whole more or less not, uh, not broke, a prisoner, or dead. Let's agree to call that a win. Okay. Uh, mine. Appalling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to seem bitter, but now I know what it's like to be utterly crushed. <laughs> Casually brought low, forced to eat my own words, and stand mute and powerless before my enemies. They gloat and I am helpless. So that's nice. Mine says desperate. Well. I've been whipped like a rented mule, for starters. <laughs> and I will remember this episode for all of my diminished days. The lesson has been as profound as it has been painful. Nothing is ever going to be good again. I mean, that's very Clarence. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Tolerable. I've emerged from this remarkable mess smelling like a rose, to be honest. I feel like I'm a little better <laughs> off, actually. It's not like I learned anything, but I also probably didn't get caught. Wretched. Things have been better. I've been ground down and brought low, but at least I've learned a lesson about human greed and frailty. This lesson will serve me well in prison, which feels like a logical next step in my career. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, let's. Yeah. Do you want to do a little epilogue scene for your character, Sullivan? Yeah, I think uh, um, <laughs> we'll be we'll be chatting away. Kay. We did it, cool. We made an undead army. That was really fun. Yeah. And yeah. and we defeated a dragon. Yeah, we made him small like a compact chihuahua. Exactly how dragons always are. Yeah, their natural state. And 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 and, and, and we can do anything now. We we wizards. Yeah. Powerful wizards. What what do you want to do first? Well, I've always thought about establishing my own colony. Mm. You know, with, with the, the plunder from 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 the dragon, but I don't want to do it on my own. Well, would you like to do it with me? <laughs> Spit in my mouth. <laughs> Best friends forever. Yeah! <laughs> 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 and scene. Right, my Tegan, mouth. do you want to wrap things up for Gork? Yeah, yeah, let's wrap it. I think a oh, scene, yeah, that a scene makes. together makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I think Clarence has now. Uh, sort of their mane is now sort of swept across the front of their face like a sort of emo fringe. Yeah. They're looking a little bit unkempt. They're a little bit more stroppy and distressed. Mm. And they're just sort of leaning leaning back on some hay in the stable nice. as Gort comes in. Yeah. Mm. Well, Clarence, got my bindle. I'm off to go start a colony with my best friend. And I want you to know. I know we weren't the, the brothers each other were hoping to get in life, but I'm really proud of you. And I'm, I'm proud of you, Gork, and I'm genuinely, truly sad to see you go. <laughs> but I imagine that you'll do great things. It's just a shame that we, we don't get to do them together. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always visit. I will. Put her there, brother. <laughs> Just smashes <laughs> his hand to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, I think uh, Clarence's life just continues from that point forward in very much the same vein, living like a slob, being the true Clarence who was inside, not worried about presentation, not worried about... <laughs> Uh, mincing their words when talking to other people. A lot of, oh, no, I don't clean my room anymore. That kind of <laughs> vibe from Clarence, but uh, never quite reaching the heady heights of being talked about in the town, being enchanting. Mm. But maybe comfortable with that. But it's never got quite as good. Uh, I think um, Moonshine just goes back to growing 
growing veg. Maybe he starts his own. Um, he says it says that he's not like learned anything and doesn't get caught. So like no one still really knows that he's a big powerful magician, but he's mm. fine with that. He doesn't want to be um, kind of paraded around and saving the world and stuff. He just wants to grow Maris. So I think he just he goes back to doing that. Mm. Fun. Yeah. Uh, while in prison <laughs> uh, for her <laughs> crimes, Brenda uh, is ve very much the conscientious prisoner. She's involved in organizing uh, activities within the prison that are aimed at rehabilitation, uh, teaching rudimentary magic to the guards, and also helping the other prisoners learn their passions in life, um, except if those passions are gardening, because she is not allowed to do any form of vegetable <laughs> growing ever yeah. again. Bad yeah. from kitchen duty. Lest, yeah. Exactly, lest she end up back in prison, and I think after a, a long, arduous detention of uh, 15 days, she uh, <laughs> goes back home, uh, doesn't fully uh, make best friends with, uh, with Moonshine as neighbors, but they are, they kind, of, they kind of have that like weird companionship that you have when you live together and you look out on the town mm -hmm. and you see all the comings and goings. Um, and, and, and yeah, she, she watches the town do well and prosper, which is all she ever wanted. Mm -hmm. So that is our game of Fiasco. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will just reiterate that uh, we are blown away by the amount of subscribers the channel already has. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please tell your friends about it, share it around on social media. Um, if you like the content that we are making here on Chaotic Neutral, if you join NRB's Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no Rosbard, Chaotic Neutral and no Rosbard will be sharing a Patreon. We are going to be having exclusive RPG content on that channel for you to enjoy. We have made a D&D series, or we're making a D&D series that's going to start airing on December 22nd. We're going to have an exclusive pro prologue... Uh, we're going to have an exclusive prologue episode over on there on December 22nd as well. It won't be essential viewing to the series, but it will flesh out some more stuff about our characters and the world and all that good stuff. So if you'd like us role-playing, there will be plenty more on the Patreon and we need you guys to subscribe because yeah, we've made we've made this series or we're making this series at quite 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 a bit of cost. Turns out oh YouTube's yeah. quite an expensive thing to do. Oh uh, right. So we would love to essentially make another series, but that all hinges on how many people we have on Patreons. And if you're a sponsor and you want to sponsor us to make a D and D series, hey, get in touch because we're looking we're looking for you. <laughs> we need you. Mm. We we need you to make this stuff. And we are. I'm honestly, I'm so so glad that we're getting to do RPG stuff. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you, everyone, yeah, for playing. Thank, you. Great thank you to Ellis and to Terry for yeah. the yeah. Thank you to the mods as yes, well mods. for their thank hard work. Give, show some love to the mods in the comments if you're watching live. If you're watching on Catch Up, thank you for watching as well. We will see you shortly. Let's all let's all try some sort of different sign-off. I'm going to go with we all know what Embrace it is. the Chaos <laughs> is what I'm going to go with. Embrace the Chaos and subscribe, but on 3, 2, 1... Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs>